Ladies and gentlemen, this is Commander of Scorpius. Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to the Sunday broadcast. How are you all doing? If you can hear my voice, that means several stars have aligned. And when that happens, Microsoft is unable to issue updates. So Windows doesn't feel inclined to refresh itself or do anything uh, to break my setup. So that's good. It's a good thing. Oh, it's also tomorrow's a blue moon, by the way. Uh, but also, welcome. Welcome to Sunny. How have you all been? I am joined today by the very lovely Terjana. Good evening. And the especially southern Connor. Hello. <laughs> and yes, this is an ASP scout. Because do you remember way back when, let's turn the clock back, uh, what seems like an eternity, pre-ECM, which we'll talk about in a minute, um, that I did a stream. I know, right? And in that stream, I was ramming things with an Asp Scout, and I proclaimed that the Asp Scout is actually better than the Corvette. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, I mean, in terms of cheap, no rack lock, ramming, uh, it, it did a very good job at running targets. <laughs> But I wanted to show you something in this. So first of all, let's say hello to everybody. How are you all doing? Um, so uh, people started talking. Spooky a lot. How are you doing, matey? Bacchus. How are you doing? Cheers, Bacchus, to the god of party. And J26. Oh, 07 to you, matey. Loot. Bro, 7 to you, loot. Black Knight 07. How are you doing, my friend? With some mute. Hello, hello, hello. Connor, thank you for the sub with your prime. My goodness. <laughs> Thanks, mate. 36 months. Yes, drops are enabled. So if you uh, want the partner drops, just stick around, I suppose. Um, and you will get them by magic. You have to have linked your Twitch account to your Frontier account. Uh, instructions are available. If you say um, exclamation mark claim. So there's instructions for that. So feel free to abuse that facility. Uh, Alexander Corman, how are you doing? Pro Rock, how are you? Oi, Muppets, always drops his hammer. <laughs> Has he? Indeed. Indeed, yes. Oh, right. I thought it was like, well, no one's picking <laughs> that up. <laughs> <laughs> Puffers, how are you doing, mate? Oh, I have not seen your video. Can you put a link to um, Pro Rock's video uh, oh, in, in chat? Um, is it in the bro bar? The, it is. It's in the, uh, the media, the media channel. Ah, right. Um, so, <laughs> JT, how you doing, mate? Uh, I did say Alexander Corbin, didn't you? Hello. You did. And Trooper, you were drunk, Scorb. I do not drink. <laughs> the very idea. No, just, like, <laughs> I don't drink anymore. Or, or any, any less, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alien Hunter, how you doing? <laughs> and uh, who else we got? So, uh, there is a better ramming ship in the game than the Ass Scout. It's called the Cobra 3. Is it though? Not. Well, it just accelerates in a straight line. It does, it does. So, we're probably going to go with the Assault Ship, actually. Because that's what we're going to be doing. Because, like, I, I, we had some debates about what is the best one. Kara Kenji, thank you for the sub! 66 months! 66! <laughs> I can't even count that high. I I get to four and I'm stuck. That, sub, that subscription will be going to school soon. It, it will. <laughs> Bloody hell, mate. Thank you so much. Oh, my and goodness. Whatever ship you choose to ram with, uh, Pro Rocks redeemed to rename the ship, so you're going to have to call it better, better than, than a Corvette. Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> God. All right, you'll have to remind me of that. I <laughs> wanted to show you something while we were here. Two things, actually. Uh, one, so um, who liked the uh, the Type 8 episode that we did? So that's two weeks ago, because last week was hands the... Um, yeah, hands up in chat if you liked the Type, type 8 type preview. Uh, so so yes, because uh, because that was a lot of fun, uh, but it was only a preview, and nobody else could really join me and get a feel for it. But it's available now for ARCs. I've just sold um, a kidney so that I can pay for the ARCs <laughs> now. Because it's not cheap. It's all right. It the... wasn't his. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't my kidney. Oh, that would Talking be ridiculous. To just just uh, chat with Gareth, so he looks like <laughs> He's got lots, apparently. Avilas, how you doing, mate? What are we doing? So what we're going to do, is we're going to talk about um, 
some things that have happened about a leak, about the, the new update, the Type 8 update. Um, and the uh, so what happened at ECM, because uh, if, for those who don't know, ECM was last weekend. It was fantastic. I it loved every minute of it. Bloody brilliant. And we had Norman Lovett again, and he's just yeah, hilarious. He <laughs> he's just hilarious. And Tajana came along as well. Indeed. I was yeah. there. It's nice to put some faces to names. Yes, yes. So it's really cool. Really great to see everyone. And I'm sad it's over. Mm. Sad it's over. Because yeah. like, you get used to being around the people that you really care about. And it's like lots of hugs. Lots of hugs and didn't get nerd flu, which is normally when you go to a convention, you get what they call nerd flu. And uh, <laughs> that kid, he lost, cost me a fortune, but it's worth it. Yes. Uh, why waste a perfectly good kidney? <laughs> you use it every day. Right? Yeah, well, I'm not using mine. <laughs> well, not that. The Cobra 3 has the highest RAM stat in the game. It's a hidden stat multiplied by the ship mass. What? So that's what the man says. Who did that science? So like, you can just imagine, like, oh, I mean, obviously, it's been ten years, so the the opportunity the steer, for this the to happen. Community. You, you yeah. know I'm going to test ramming and see if there's a hidden <laughs> stat. <laughs> no, we're not, but not min maxing though. The Cobra Three does blow up quite quickly though, so uh, th there is that. I, I just noticed something about the back end of the Asp Scout. Do you remember? Do you, do you remember on on stacks of street waffles? Yes, stacks of yeah the waffle things. And look here, they're the yeah. same. They're the same. So they're the lower poly, but they are here. Oh, above us! Thank you for those bits. Thank you for the hundred bits, mate. That's really kind. I mean, the Cobra Three is literally a flying knife punch dagger. <laughs> yes, but a Cobra Three isn't. Like as much, not in the Cobra Three. We've done so much Cobra Three stuff. Not in the Cobra Three, but <laughs> I, I do appreciate the enthusiasm. But but I wanted to talk about this, right? So so you've got the rear engines of the Asp Scout, and there has been a reveal, a reveal of this guy, the new ship that's coming, which we don't even know what it is, and there is so it's got that kind of same stacked engine configuration it's got looks like it's got uh two big ones and two small ones on the edge oh or maybe ones on the end as well so like you've got these these bad boys here these here wherever these are and these look like engines too so i wonder if this is just going to be wall-to-wall -wall engines uh like like yeah. but it's people are saying these look like gutemeyer um engines which is entirely possible because you've got the blue rings inside and that's what the imperial clipper's got it's got these kind of engines so you're thinking panther clipper don't say it every time we mention panther clipper every time anyone mentions panther clipper it gets pushed back a month and we've been talking about it so much we we'll probably get the heat death of the universe before we'll see it like i don't know about you but that's more time than i want to invest in this particular project <laughs> <laughs> oh dear people equals burr People, I, I P Bear was talking about it, but lots of people have been talking about it as as being um, good to my engines. It's it does look a bit that way. Yeah. yeah. So by the looks of it, and as, as, yes, I've watched the Burr Pit video. Okay, all right, I might be biased. I might be, but like he makes good points. He always makes good points. He does. <laughs> but, but anyway, so it looks imperial, and there is a gap in the uh the lineup for imperial ships uh for a medium one so it's like small 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 uh i, I guess the clipper is medium uh, but th there needs to be another medium doesn't there because like there isn't um as many there are on the federal side but i'm a bit concerned that it might be behind a rank unlock i mean i have them all now so it doesn't bother me but um other players new players might not so and there's also the thing, if it's locked behind a rank unlock, what about people buying it with arcs? Now, could it be that you can buy it, but you can't fly it? Or maybe they're doing away with the the rank um, unlock for it and have it just like a normal ship. But it's a, yeah, the clipper eclipse the medium pads. Really? 
I, I know, right, so Bacchus, that's what I was thinking. So it seems unlikely to lock something behind the rank that they'll 99% want in the ARC store. It will be in the ARC store, for sure. That's the business model that's working, and I've said for a long time that you know they shouldn't be shy of wanting to make money. So it keeps the engines running, keeps the developers paid. We want the developers paid because they keep adding things to the game, and that's a good thing. And if not adding features, fixing bugs. Which brings me to the release notes. So we've got these bad boys here. So what we've got in the Type 8 update, I know everyone else has done this and uh, you've had this in, in your streams before, but we're going through it all right. We get put the pitchforks down. So we get the, the Type 8, that is all. Anyway, no, the, um, so yes, we get the Type 8 transport. Portal. Everything else is a footnote. Yeah, everything else is basically a footnote. Uh, yes, the Imperial Eagle isn't behind a rank lock. That is true, J26. That is true. Uh, well, so there's a bunch of fixes. The others haven't been. It, it would be a bit silly if it was, wouldn't it, financially? I think it would be um, daft for them to put it behind a rank lock mm. um, because <laughs> it stops sharpening the pitchfork. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Apophis. I appreciate it. So there's been some fixes. Uh, so we've got the, the Type 8 um, transporter and they've added some lore um, things that you can see. So it exists within the world. Um, so I've got this, so it's 33,000 arcs, which is not cheap, to be honest. I think it's more than the, is that more than the Python was? How much was the Python? Or was the Python the same price? Does anybody know? Python Mark II. So, so if it's, it's the same, it's the same price as the Python. Okay. So 33,000 arcs. So I bought some arcs just for this. Because, you know, I, I want to get it. want to get it. Um, like I've said, I don't mind throwing money at Frontier to keep this going. And Frontier have decided that they're going to invest some money into content creation as well. Um, yeah. Which I'm not sure... I don't have enough information about, so I'm not sure how I feel about it, the implementation of it. But I will see. I will see how, how it goes. Um, um, well... Ryan Burr mentions it in his latest. He does. Day. He does. Oh my! Um, he wants some. Uh, wants some bit of. He's done a bit of digging. Found out some background stuff. So yeah, he what? has. It, so it turns out it's like out about it old Check school print media are trying to get people into this curated space mm -hmm. so that um, you can get back to that because it's really hard to um, shine in an area where there's so many content creators of varying quality. So they're trying to reward quality with money so here make the thing the best one wins i mean in a way that's fine in a way that I, i've got no problem with that um but what i worry about is it's making a kind of a walled garden um if 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 there's no other way of watching said content and if they have an exclusivity uh clause so it can only be hosted on their servers it can't be on both that and youtube if that's what they do then it will fail but anyway, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, so anyway, so yes, type type eight. So there's um, there's different versions, two different versions. They got a jump start beluga, which uh, is good, I guess, because they're expensive in game. And if you're a new player, this is a good way. I want to be a bus driver. Fine, great. And the vulture, it's a good combat ship. Is it engineered? It, it would have to be with because uh, like a vulture is only really useful when you monster the power supply. But um, but that's you know that would be great if it is, and then I the... believe it is engineered. It's got some some engineered weapons. Okay, from what I've heard. It, well, it would need the power plant um, updated as well. But the Python Mark II is available for everybody. Everybody can have a Python Mark II. You get a Python Mark II. You get a Python Mark II. You get a Python Mark II. Everybody can have a Python Mark II. And then the big changes. The big changes, engineering, engineering. Um, I haven't touched this yet. I've been busy, so with ECM, um, so it dropped just before ECM, and I've been busy doing that. And then there's been a couple of other things that I've been been doing, so I've not really touched it. Uh, Connor, though, you have, haven't you? You've you've uh, done some I gathering have of been mats. Been doing some engineering. So how have you found it, Connor? It is, it is quite nice. I would have, I'd have to say. It okay. makes 
doing any sort of engineering a lot uh, less just mindless grind and actual it's more you know it's still there's still grind in it but it's more manageable you know mm -hmm. if you know where to get the stuff you can go there pick up all the stuff you need and then do the next thing okay that sounds like a good thing to me it's, it's not brainless yeah mm. so they've upped the amount of materials that you can get from everything um, and they've removed the randomness from um, any of the engineering roles so it's just always you put this in it'll always be the same amount um, so you know how many you need so you know how many you need to collect how many you're going to use up so that's a good thing because like it's and it's way way better than what we had before where you would do your engineering and you'd end up with something worse than you started with which is entirely possible so you do it again and again and again and you spaff all your maths it's like oh, it was so hard and originally originally there was cargo involved actual things you had to have in your cargo before you could even do it and they, so they got rid of that it seems like they've been polishing all the kinks out of this but it almost to me and i don't know if you guys agree with me you know if, you know when you're doing algebra right so if you've got something which is like um a plus b minus b you can get rid of the b you just get rid of b because b's just been cancelled out uh, like a lot of the stuff in engineering now can just be cancelled out there it's just get materials go see a person get the thing improved that's it there's this so i don't know whether that was their intention all along or if it's like well you know everyone hates it so let's just get it get it to a thing where it's painless at least do no harm you know uh right so i've got here uh, hopefully we'll never have to pay f dev subscription for elite community content uh yeah oh that's a thing that um bethesda have done isn't it uh i was able to finish engineering my suits and weapons also ship engineering is way easier awesome because like the change here like uh remove power regulators from recipes and the backpack capacity changes as well. Um, so there's a whole bunch of things. So the, the link to the patch notes um, is now in chat. Hey, C Dollar, how you doing, buddy? How are you doing, my friend? <clears throat> uh, so let's see. So we got, so you're lurking because noms. Yes, yes, noms are good. First of all, I'm going to go to um, Jameson's not Jameson Memorial, and go and get me Type 8. Is that a good ship for getting these, um, for doing missions and getting materials? Or... I have I've made an engineering material getter Type 8. And okay. it's, it's been working well. Okay. How long is the jump range on this ASP scout, scout base? And do I have 20 light years? Do I have a fuel scoop? No, it is junk. This is this was just for ramming, because you guys told me I had to use. Because Connor, you told me I had to use an ASP scout. That was you. <laughs> it was you. And I've yes. successfully converted you. <laughs> Which right, better than a Corvette? <laughs> well, I, I'll, I'll take. Um, I'll, be um, I'll take something uh, that I can just jump easy enough. Uh, what's the jump range on this guy? the season two oh it doesn't have seo don't need seo do i it just needs to have do you have a uh fuel scoop no no fuel scoop bugger back because that's a prop ship that's a prop ship so can a raid have you got have you got fuel scoop yes 5a it'll do it it will do what's the let, let's use this ship it'll do <laughs> and the jump range on it is a healthy 24 nice let's go over to um shin and go pick up the um oh come, oh yeah derp shin rata desra and we'll go pick up that type 8 because 
Uh, I think my Ascorbius account gets gifted one from Frontier because I'm a partner, but L Scorbius doesn't, and L Scorbius one I use all the time. Uh, just because. But that's on you, that is. <laughs> I mean, it might be. Might be. Um, is this. How many jumps? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Five jumps. That's nothing. It's nothing. What you planning on ramming? Everything. The universe. Ramming the universe. It's not great for forming farming raw mats. Uh, you get one hard point to mount a flak launcher, but there's no reason you can't do encoded manufacturing well. Oops. So what mission? Yeah, what? Type 8 is not great for going on a planet. Oh, landing Everything else is great. All right, so. Oh my god, right, put some pips in that. Not flown this ship in a while. All right, let's go. So it shouldn't take long. It should only take about five minutes to get there, and then we'll uh, pick it up from there. So I'm very excited about the new ship. So I do like those engines. I do like that it looks big. Uh, so, but it's probably going to be a medium ship. What do you guys think? Medium ship? Where the towers, Eddie Bird? I think so. I think that's going to be medium. Uh, Mark Gamer, um, you might be right actually because it's a little bit too stumpy for the SRV to come out of. Uh, it, it was good for mining. We took it mining when we had the, uh, you know, the the preview. It was good at that. I mean, it's obviously when I say good at that, I, I'm not talking about the best in the game because I, I don't subscribe to the idea that I need the best in the game to do a thing I need the fun thing in the game the best mining ship in the game for me so far is a type 9 because it's got large cargo plenty of hard points I can maneuver it around uh, well enough um, you, see, sorry, you see the little thing that J2 spotted there oh what's that it says it's in hangar 7 that, so that's a medium ah that's Clever. That's clever. However, <laughs> did Frontier know that, or did they just put it in there so it's an 07? Oh, <laughs> Large rather, but who knows, even if it is a medium, I love medium ships. Anyway, just hope that we'll make a medium passenger ship. Oh yeah, because we've only got the small or the mahusive, haven't we? Maybe. You prefer the cutter for mining. I, and. You know, everyone has got their preference because some people prefer how certain ships fly. And when you're doing things like you're in Asteroid Belt and you're mining, uh, knowing that you can just throw the thing around is a good thing. You, it's your confidence level. Some people can't stand flying the Ferdolands because you're on the other side of the cockpit. And the Mamba, you're in the middle. And the, the, the Adder, you're on the left. So they don't like the off-center. Some people. I don't personally care, but like some people have a preference. Uh, only on some stations, it's also large everywhere, elsewhere. Okay. Yeah. What if it isn't large? Not, it's, I think medium in turn makes the most sense in terms mm. of ships that we want added. Yeah. But I can also understand if it's large. What if they introduce an extra large pad into the game? You know that's going to be there. Shush, Scob. Give us hope. I honestly thought that um, at ECM that they were going to tell us what the name of the new ship was, but they didn't do it. There was a big <laughs> skit that we did where um, Arf was there, and uh, if you haven't seen it, go watch it on the e e on the vods for ECM. Because so we had Jack Little on one side and then another Muppet on the other side, uh, and they were the new ship designers because all of the others had gone sick or something. So it was just half in the middle and two two puppets on this side. Although only one puppet, one real boy. Let's just have that straight. It's like, <laughs> but it was really funny. A Type Nine XL. The Type Nine's already XL. We've got Type Nine military, which is a Type Ten. And we still don't know what the new feature co coming in the game. That's very true. Like we're over halfway into the year, like and, and some way into that. Andy K, how you doing, mate? Type nine X X X X X X L. Oh, what would that be? So, 
one thing that I did find online, some people were mentioning it, is in Old Elite there is a ship called the Imperial Explorer, which doesn't really fit the size or anything like that, but they could use that as a name at least. Oh yeah. Yeah, they could do. I mean, that would be cool. I think a There's lot a of people would be up for that. Wiki page. And there's also, uh, I think I got this from the Burr video, but there is, um, you know, so we've had, Combat's had a new ship with the Python Mark II. Um, Hauling has had a new ship with a Type 8. Exploration hasn't had a new ship for a while. The Imperial mm -hmm. Cruiser. So no new exploration ships yet. So why not? Uh, so if you get all the pillars... So that could be the thing. Could be. Have a look at this. While we're jumping. The Imperial Explorer. Right, I won't do it yet until I'm out the other side of the the warp tunnel. Yes. The witch space tunnel. Warp? What are you talking about? This is Star Trek. You map it. You mug. Right, uh, Let's go to Jameson. Oh, ECM was fantastic. We got to see Tom Cook again. Tom Cook was there playing live music. Yeah, Bloody wonderful. And here's the thing I didn't expect. <laughs> Psychic can sing. Psychic. It's true. <laughs> the, the Psychic can sing. Who knew that? I didn't know that. I was, it, and, she, and she's really yeah, rather good. Did a good job, funny. <laughs> yeah, she hit all the notes and everything, and knew all the words. <laughs> it was. Oh yeah, it was. So this is the. Okay, so it looks like a Star Trek ship. Okay. Uh. So okay. Oh no! Don't you do that? Stupidest Windows feature ever. If you shake the window, it goes. Oh, you want to minimize everything? No. <laughs> I know I don't. Uh, I'm going to minimize everything, no matter what you're doing. I'm going to minimize everything. Why are you like this, Windows? <laughs> it's, it's, wor it's worth to note that that ship is not that. That ship exactly will probably not be in Elite because it's. If it is, it will be bigger than any other ship mm. in Elite. Yeah. I mean that's. But, and why not though? Why not have a docking collar instead of a, a dock? Uh, you know, a pad. Have, have it so stations have docking collars. Because, like, there's no point. You Then you have to outfit each and every station with a, a docking collar. Yeah. Just for one ship. Or is it just for one ship? Because once you have the ability to fly something really large, that opens up the game for other really large ships. That's true. That they have to go and model. Oh, it's such a hardship having to go and model and build and code and ship in a game. Oh, you're right, Connor. Let's just bin it off now. No, I, I <laughs> want, what's the I point want... of what's the point of spending all that money and time making one huge ship and they can make like uh, ten uh, tiny ships? Because it doesn't work that way. Like it takes the it same does. effort to build a small ship as it does to build a big one. It's only it's geometry. I still want the Imperial um, <laughs> Trader. Imperial Trader. The one that had three engines around it, like a liberate, a liberator in like seven. Mm -hmm. I want that. Eight for our painting. So, dock to the station, then the station starts rotating around the ship. It's that big. But it would be cool as so as part of your docking thing. I mean, yes, it would be a lot of work, but it would open up um, the game to really large ships, and so that that could be a thing. So, if you had a really large explorer, but I guess we've got fleet carriers now, so. And you wouldn't be able to dock it with a fleet carrier unless they put a docking collar on the fleet carrier. But I like flying big yeah. ships. Yeah, you, ju you just drop into a station instance. You can and, never uh, leave. <laughs> yeah, no one else can leave. <laughs> what am I doing? You drop in next to a fleet carrier and the fleet carrier goes, We've cancelled, I'll jump. Yeah, the fleet carrier can't jump out because it's mass locked. <laughs> that would be hilarious. But I do think 
like having the ability to have very large ships opens up the game to future development. And you never know. Maybe that's what the new feature is that they've not announced. Yeah. A Which Farragut I'm sure they'll, they'll probably announce it by the next uh, Frontier Unlocked, which will be yeah. the end of this month. Yeah, so something Farragut size, that would be so cool. Because, no, uh, all right, fine, we, we have our fleet carriers, but that shouldn't be the be all and end all. You know, it's like, well, why do we need another car? We've got a Ford Focus. Because. Because variety is the spice of life. And it adds variation to the game. You know, we, we've had two new ships so far in the game that we, that everyone's flying them now. It's injected life back into the game for a lot of players. So, um, switching things up and just having a variety is incredible for longevity. A really nippy little ship that, spr that sprouts wheels when you land and doubles as an SRV. Sea Dweller, stop it, I can only get so erect. <laughs> that's that's uh, me um, channeling my Alec Turner. <laughs> mm. yeah, we, we still want the small ship with one huge hard point and nothing else. Though. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a flying gun. Yeah. I mean, you can imagine what Alec Turner would do with a ship like that. That ha just wheels come out, it just drives yes. around. <laughs> it has flight mode and it has um, drive mode. Basically a transformer. That would be cool. Like, these ideas are good. These are good things that Frontier should try. Put them in, let them succeed or fail and keep them there. Because if people want the ship and they find a use for it, It'll be there. It's the same with all of these things. Go nuts. Put the lifter in there. It can't jump anywhere, but by by gum, it's good at um, getting... It, maybe it can't go into witch space, but it can carry lots of cargo between uh, stations and fleet carriers or just in in the station, in, in the system. Just have it so it's like, you know, the Eagle transporter. Let's see what we got. Jerry Bosson, how you doing? Uh, given small SEO are the fastest SEO, an SEO capable small ship would be a nice thing to have. I mentioned something to Arthur um, during ECM, and so uh, I'm sure he gets mentioned stuff mentioned to him all the time. But it was that um, to make SEO really a useful thing, make it so that you get better prices for stations that are really far away from their main star. So to make the journey worth it. And so, you, because that's what would happen. They, that they, is exactly what would happen, yes. Yeah. So because they're hard to reach, they would pay more. And, you know, so players would um, take advantage of that. Of course they would. Right, where is the thing for the thing for the thing. We did this last time and I couldn't find the thing. Where is it? Yeah. It's in the thing. What are you Isn't... looking for? I think it's in livery or... Do I have to go back to the menu to do this? The Type 8. I want to buy the Type are you, 8. Are you trying to actually buy the thing? Have you not yeah. bought it yet? I've not bought it yet. Ships. Uh, yes, I need Underneath that. Underneath your was. money. I found it. It's under my money. Right, so let's go for the Stella. Oh, I should have had some Stella instead of Punk. Because then it would have been the Type 8 Stella. Tarakov, how are you doing, buddy? You're just chatting to a fuel client after a rescue. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Buy the pre-built ship. I mean, I do love this. It's such a cool design. Let's buy it. Um, Buy the pre-built ship. Press the button. Yes, I own this item. Oof. Now my arcs are small and diminished. <laughs> Where's all my arcs? I had a lot and now have very few. But it's fine. What else can I buy? <laughs> this is what happens, right? Uh, let's have a look at the vulture. Let's see. I'm not buying it. I want to see it. I want to see what's, what it's got. 
details. Show me the details. Okay, so it's got an armoured power plant. Not monstered, though. I would have monstered that. Uh, long range... So multi-cannon with a high-capacity magazine and a pulse laser with a long-range weapon. Is this a good build? I'm not sure this is a great build. Charge enhanced power plant. Oh, that's that's useful for the vulture, certainly. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, I, I don't know very much about the vulture. I don't fly it. It's um, a bit of a glass cannon for me. I always blow up, basically. Uh, what else do we have in here? What else do we have? So, so you can still buy the Python Mark II with arcs as well, if you want to, I think. I already own that. So, yeah, so you can still do that. But it needs a lot of power. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why I think it needs that's to be monstered. The thing, yeah. I think it should be fine if because it only has one <laughs> sort of power demanding weapon. Hey Dave, we'll talk. How you doing? So, uh, trooper, if your vulture is a glass cut and laugh my ass off, you're building it wrong. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and, what's that? To Mark Gaming, so to launch that vulture is a new player combo ship. It's a bit much. Uh, well, maybe they just want to get into combat and they feel that the you know, building up to yeah. a combat-ready ship is, is too slow. But like, for that price, although for the price, buy EDO. Um, we're making a ramming ship today. Yes, we are. But I wanted to buy this just so I'd got it. Um, but I'm also going to buy the, the ship we're going to do the ramming with. Um, but what I was thinking is we will... Do because I'll need to get some engineering materials, uh, so I'll use the Type Eight for that. Deploy the pre-built ship. So I've got it now. So it's deployed. So I'll be able to switch to it now. This is now my ship. Use this ship. All right. They stored the chieftain. Uh, I can give you a build sheet for your Python Mark Two. It weighs eight hundred sixty tons and moves like five forty meters a second. That's put, still, that's put that in the bro bar if you don't mind. Yeah. Right, which ship will you rename? Points were spent. I'm going. Oh, I just, I just, just, just calm, calm down, bro. Calm down. In through the nose, out through the mouth. It's fine. Oh. So, <laughs> let me get the ship so that we could do the thing. Right. Be the first to turn the Type Eight as a ram it. No. Well, I guess it does have fists. It did. The Type Eight <laughs> punch ship. Yeah. Like Superman flying forward with the fists out there. I, I did say I was going to get a. Um, it was the Imperial, not the Imperial, the Federal Assault Ship. That's what we we're going to use, isn't it? Yes, that's what you said. Because it's bit. It is a bit of a chisel. Looks like a chisel. But well, admittedly, the Type Seven would be the best. I mean, it's just a brick, isn't it? <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get this one. We'll purchase this, and then we're going to rename it because points were spent. Cobra 3 fits between the Type 8 arms. <laughs> that's, that's a, okay. Interesting observation. <laughs> it's sort of a silly ship to put a size 1 fuel scoop into, but you want to avoid rat calls whenever I can. Yeah, just a little bit of patience. <laughs> so, because the thing is, we, re we notice, unless they fixed it, we notice that if you ram, that they don't like react. They go, oh. Well, that's the thing. You can ram them to death. Yeah, mission, mission targets. That yeah, was you can the just, thing, wasn't you it? just ram them to death, and they go to their friends, just ram them to death, and they don't react. So it's like, okay, I'm just going to ram everything. I, I might not even put weapons on it. <laughs> <laughs> so what am I going to call it? You said I'm going to call it a thing. Better right. than the Corvettes. Okay, we'll call it that. We'll call it that then. You know you want to. <laughs> Change the name. Will that it's better than a Corvette? It just fits. Oh, well chosen, bro. It just fits. And then the thing we're going to call it Rammer. Because I think that's... Oh, no. Rammer. The Punch Monkey. No, points have been spent. Can't can't do that. Points have been spent. <laughs> It, it's that's that's it that's what we got nicky dangerous how you doing 
<laughs> oh, right, so uh, obviously the most important thing is to give it some good ramming paint. So I'll have to buy some paint. What's a good ramming paint job? That one? That's oh, I don't like that one. Uh, Pirate Faction Red. They're all fl flying bricks. They are. That's what makes them. Like, if I was going to smash a window, would I use a teddy bear? No. I'd use a brick. It's... <laughs> I'll use these all. I'm, I'm not giving anyone money today. They, they got enough money off me today. <laughs> it needs to be the colour of nuns. They don't have that. I guess there is the red. We could get the red. Engine detailing. Right, let's go for red engines because it's ramming is red. Brick inside of a teddy bear. That does work, actually. <laughs> it's like, well, you could put a brick inside the teddy bear and that would be plenty good at smashing windows. And also, if it lands on the ground and hits any small kitties, they'll, they'll just play with the teddy bear. No one will suspect a thing. <laughs> what is going on? Oh. Right, so, uh, decals. I want ones with fists. Right. Uh, I'm sure there's one with a fist. There's hands. Where's the fist ones? I thought there was one with a big fist. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, I can't... I, Probably I can't, isn't for good reason. I can't find a big fist. Why is there never a big <laughs> fist when you want one? <laughs> I thought there was hey. one. <laughs> I thought there was one. There's a hand. Uh, that's why you froze your eggs before you throw them at someone. It hurt like hell. But they'll oh, melt and leave yes. no evidence. Oof! Oof! Yes, it's true. <laughs> Will the most, most items be fitting with... Wouldn't the most items be fitting here with all the crashing? We don't crash. We we do not crash. We we simply we stop land... With pre we stop with prejudice. <laughs> we do. We do. Right, so, okay. As it's a surprise, we'll have... The, we'll have the special effect exclamation mark because no one expected this. And then, okay. the, and then the left and right decals will be... Um, you, you've got the, 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 the alien hand and the human hand there, kind of claw thing, the slappy Yeah, but I have to buy it, don't I? Hand. Oh, oh, you haven't got... Oh, forget that. No, I, I, I don't want to buy it. No, you spent so, enough to pay already. <laughs> speedy. We'll do the speedy thing, the utopia thing on that. Uh, oh, what, the exclamation mark? That was a special effect. That's a oh, special yes. effect decal. Yeah. So there's only... Uh, charity job in mm. the parts. So streams. ramming speed oh, and... Special effect stream. Yeah, I, th I, th I think it was... What's this one? Serious power play. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What's that? Oh, that's the beta test there. Well, we are testing. Yes. Well, we'll put that on there as well. <laughs> So, decals are done. Does it have a ship kit? I don't know if this has a ship kit, does it? It might. It, oh, no, if no you ship the kit. the more expensive one, then it should. This, no, oh, you're, no, the, you're not, uh, you're not, the I'm not on that one. one. Oh, yeah, so there's no ship kit no. For, for this, no, which is fine. Do we have it's, a fist deserve. in the middle? Let's put dashboard six. Do I have a fist or anything we can have that shows ramming potential? I'm, I'm going to use my my pirate skull, because then it will show that like the impact. Oh, we've got these new ones, haven't we? That we can get, which are the thargoids. Like you can get the the oh, titans yes. and the uh, revenants, but they look hideous. I'm not going to get. I'm not getting. Oh, uh, you know, yeah. That's so, it. You just stare at it. Uh. Yeah, I don't want that. Okay, so you we've like, got that. You like your skulls. Like my skulls. Uh, oh yeah, I could just put skulls all over the front of it, but let's let's not let's get rid of the hard points. No hard points. We're going no hard points. <laughs> Fists ramming and all before the night yeah, watershed. I was thinking the same thing, Zidra. <laughs> where's your mind at? It, you know, I mean... right? So <laughs> we uh, see them together. You know how my mind works now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put um shield boosters up the up the thingy for this i think because we want boosts uh, da, da, da. don't need chaff don't need any of the other stuff it's just do we even need heat sinks 
No. Oh, we do, don't we? Because I, I will be putting a SCO on here. We'll have one heatsink launcher. And then the rest is all going to be um, shields. Echo Sparks, how you doing, buddy? That's another shield booster. Let's have that there. And then the core. Let's have let's have the not gonna replace. Oh yeah, we are replacing, aren't we? We want the uh, military composites. Um reinforce, what does that do? Against all types of attack. But the military grade gives us Oh, yeah, we want that one. 250. 250? Yes, please. Uh don't store, just buy. I've got no storage room. Okay, so power plants, military best. Place, let's have a um, 6A power plant. And we're selling the current one, because who needs it? Thrusters, 6A. Let's get as much thrusts as we can. We need lots of thrust when we're ramming. Frame shift drive. Uh, 5A. SCO, because of course. And life support. Do we need that? D rate that. 5D. Uh, power distributor. And fists. Yes, we need fists. <laughs> All the fists. What has what does this show become? Filth. That's what it's become. Right, the five. Six A, that'll do. Um, we were selling the current one because the current one is pants and sensors. Uh, do we want so the is that distance integrity power draw? No, oh, uh, emission range. So 4A, so that's got six kilometers. So we'll have that one 6.7 kilometers. You feel strangely at home. <laughs> As, as do as do all of the regulars. I wonder what I have started. <laughs> what have I done? Right, shield generator. We'll go with I think prismatics. No regrets. It's too late. I, oh, I I don't have prismatics, do I? I have not done anything for uh, the, no. the blue haired lady. So it's going to have to be by weaves. I think by weaves. Well. You did in my last oh, video. Hmm. Well, they don't they have um, better shield strength, maximum strength, one hundred and forty percent. So, whereas a normal shield, oh, one hundred and seventy percent. I guess we want normal shields, then, don't we? Mm -hmm. Well, it depends on if you want to just hit them a bunch and then sort of go away and uh, recharge, or hit them a whole bunch mm -hmm. and just hope that you don't lose your shields. Hey, Echo. Say hi in chat. Hi. <laughs> right. All yeah, right. Um, I we'll think you're right, kind of coming like this. You probably want uh, capacity of a shield more than recharge, I yeah. think, because it's all about getting there, brute force, straight in attack, crushing, then running away <laughs> mm -hmm. to lick your wounds. Uh, right, so I yeah. think what I want with this is a hull reinforcement. I'm going to get a big old hull reinforcement. And then, uh, so that should increase that. But I do want to have a collect Olympic controller. Yes, so I suppose to scoop the bits up. Yeah, so I'll get a, I'll get a collect Olympic and controller the, there. Just in it for the kills. No, no, no. Well, we want the mats, don't we? Oh, I see. yes. So this and is so these will be. Rammer. Yeah. <laughs> so this gives you uh, two e. So four. Uh, we want more than eight limpets, don't we? I don't know. You're, yeah. You're cutting your mass down if you start. <laughs> I don't. I don't care about the mass. We want the mass. That's that's, that's it. That's we want more math. Uh, Navigation, how you doing? Oh, military grade compo hull reinforcements. Uh, hull reinforcements. Say tons. Uh, you don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah. So that's got eight. So eight. Oh, okay. So we've already got cargo back there. And more hull reinforcements. 
<laughs> you like the gay weaves better? Oh, God. <laughs> well, okay. and so it begins. <laughs> well, I've got that. Like, I'll stick another cargo rack there um, just so that we got a bit more for, for that. Super Cruiser says, get out. Don't want that. Uh, but I will have uh, a landing, a docking computer. Because, not that I don't know how to fly the ship, because you all know I can, but it's because I want to be able to auto dock and talk to you guys while I'm doing it. Uh, I don't have a fuel scoop, do I? That is quite wise, actually, given how often you um, um, reconnaissance loop planets when you're coming in. So. Right, so... Just seeing some of it in chat. And, oh, I've missed it again. That happens an awful lot. Yeah, that's true. So, yes. I Dr. probably Peter. probably need to put a fuel scoop in this, don't I? Because uh, if I need to go engineering yeah, anything... Just, just, just a little one. Well, let's see what we can get away with. Let's see, see how much... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see how much engineering I can do. Uh, hull reinforcements. So what have we got here? Uh, what heavy duty? Heavy duty. Is this going to make it even more like a brick? Massier, yes. Oh, but I I haven't unlocked. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Generate modification. Do it. Okay. Okay. Shield emitters. I've got a bunch of those. This is good. Uh oh. So that gives you half. Okay. Yeah, it so, goes okay. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, so this is probably going to go a third. third. Yep. Uh huh. Okay, so... pattern there. <laughs> yeah, this so this is fine. So I'm hoping that this is just going to like tank this thing out. Oh, I've only got 14 proprietary composites. It's about the same maths in total as it was before. Right. However, the fact that it's um. Auto like it's a set amount that you get per thing. It means that uh, third-party tools can go and plan mm. how met, how much you need to the one engineering man uh, for that you need for the whole ship, basically. I don't have enough core dynamics composites. I need to get those somehow. So. Well. That that spaceship, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'll I'll, I'll use figure. all these up. I'll use all the ones I've got, because all the others I can get to. too hard to get. Yeah, not now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, anymore. Full reinforcement. So that one's heavy duty reinforcement. <laughs> yeah, what? that's right, Pro Rock. Yeah, if you only could find like a hundred of them in a high-grade mission, I mean, you know. <laughs> right. So I, I do want this ship to be as robust as possible. Hey, Bill Schmidt. Uh, so I guess I'm clueless. I can't find any raw mats at the Crash Anaconda site uh, in Coal dis Disky, but the cargo containers and, and cargo racks. But you can pick up all all the containers. Oh, so you just shoot. You shoot yeah, the you cargo racks. You shoot the cargo racks. Yeah. They'll explode into little pieces of mats, and you, then you pick up the mats. Little counterintuitive, but hey, Infwell. Yeah, yeah he right, says so... uh, guardian shield enforcements instead of hull reinforcements. That way, you've got to double the double the bump. Uh, right. So, so instead of okay, so before I go and engineer a bunch more stuff, then so what, 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 what? Guardian shield enforcements to keep your shields up longer. And that would go that, into that the That would be optional. a tech broker thing. Mm. Oh, well, I don't have so you those. Might, you, you might have not unlocked them yet. Yeah. yeah, so if I switch this out, see if it's available for me, first of all. So, well, these are the military things. Uh, okay, so if I if I go to... It's been engineered now, I feel bad. But like, let's see. So replace it and go to the... Um, where is it? Where is it? Is it in the experimental? Where would it be? It'll be in hull reinforcements. Okay. I've lost it. There we go. Hull reinforcements. 
Right. Uh, if it's not there, then it means you have to go and unlock them. Yeah, I've not unlocked that at all. So we'll go with what we got. There might be... I haven't got the... Check. Is there is there a broker here? There is a tech broker here. Let's see. For the fighter. Which I don't have enough stuff for. He's, no, he's got the modules as well. Oh, right. Guardian gas cannons. Power plant. Shield reinforcements. Can I afford it? A hull reinforcement or shield reinforcement? Uh, shield, shield reinforcement. The, so I don't have the other stuff. There's yeah, a bunch of stuff of I don't stuff. have. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, I I ain't got time for that today. No. But maybe that's I mean, that might be a, a good alternative. Tato! Just run some shield cell banks, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Is that too? That's... <laughs> I just came full ramming. Full ram. Ram hard. Ram harder. That's a good day to ram hard. <laughs> good day to ram hard. Yeah, more mass. That's, yeah. More mass is more RAM. Yes. Oh, we should have called this the RAM Tar. Oh. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> more RAM, comma, Tar. T A. It's a northern thing. More RAM Tar. RAM Tar. RAM Tar, buddy. In SRV, uh, pick cargo rack from contents okay. and then go to fire on it. Yeah, that's... Oh, I actually don't have an SRV on this. No, you, well, you don't, you don't need one. No. Nah. Ramming. The Ram Ranch. Goggle! Hey, do buddy. I like Ram Tarts. <laughs> uh, so I need more of that. Uh, so more hull reinforcements. No! All right, we'll do this. We'll fill up as much as we can. Oh, it's that Odyssey. I tried shooting them on foot from the SRV and from my ship. That's no joy. Crazy. Because they they should. <laughs> Velocity <Yeah>. Ramtar. <laughs> this does make it more predictable, doesn't it? When you're doing this. It does, but it does. I have. Because I, I always. I still have mixed feelings about it because. The higher the grade um, Jen, have you engineering tried? thing you do, the more the rarer the materials. So now it's you know rarer materials and but more you steps. Waste, you waste fewer. I know, I know. It was the little. Oh no! I haven't quite got the end. I know, but the thing is, annoying. right? So you get it it's, right it's to the end. Better than it was. It's better than it was. Yeah, because so because it was kind of wasting your time with the. So is that all of them? It, it so it's, was, what, what it this was is doing now. You will always have, you'll know how many mats you've got, and you're not going to just get it so close to the next one, yeah. and then you go, I've got to spank another mat now. Yeah. So that's, yeah. so it's better. It's better, but, you know. Right, dirty drive. I've got enough things for this. Dirty drive. Oh, so dirty. Yes, I don't think I'll be able to get it, like, all the way up. Oh, my. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, I've only got three mechanical components. I think that's all I need. Yeah, it's, this will be all my mechanical components. So we're going to need loads more of this by shooting ships. And, oh, yes, we can get up to grade four, I think. I don't think we'll be able to get grade five. Collie Disky. Oh, so it's... Well, well, is that, that's for um, Beowulf, is it? Oh, pharmaceutical isolators. I don't have them. They're, I think that you get those at Dab's Hope, don't you? Wait, probably get those mission reports now. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we've got that. And now let's do the FSD. The SCO FSD. Increase range, please. Oof, that's nasty, Trooper. Yeah. What's that? You want to... needed 16 Oof. rolls to max the G5. Yeah. Oof. So yeah, it is better. <laughs> yeah, this is this is better. I just want to get some better range. That is true, true. It is. It's five years overdue. Yep. Oh, I haven't got any strange wake solutions. Harumph. Oh, you only get those by scanning, don't you? Alan wake solutions. Yeah, it's yeah. They're all um 
You just hang around somewhere with tourists and scan things for a few minutes. Uh, shield generator. Let's see Definitely. what we can do with that. Reinforce those shields. Let's get it reinforced. Time to... Oh, I don't like doing that, Tato. <laughs> uh, honestly, because, like, it, it feels wrong. Oh, mechanical components. I need those as well. It just feels... It just feels uh, wrong. It does. It does. It's like... Um... Well, you, you, I mean, you're, you're scanning logs, so it, it's just like going to Stonehenge and taking a lot of photographs of it. <laughs> but it's, but it's like over Jam over Jameson's again. crash site. I know, with it's, with, it's, with a heartbreaking great, story, and people are just site. like farming it for mats. Like it just uh, feels. Uh, oh no! Yeah, there'll there'll be a you know t-shirt stand there next. Mm. You know? And um, a Braben burger just next to it as well. Come and see the uh, the official grave site. It's a war grave, everybody. Yeah, make sure to scan for the materials. Oh, right. So I'm going to switch ships. So I'll, I'll switch back to the Type 8. And um, then I'll get this ship transferred over. Uh, so we'll do some missions in the Type 8 for a bit. And then we'll do um, see what we can collect. Um, when we get the, when we do the missions for that, so we'll, we'll do some missions and then get, as the um, this ship has been transported, we'll um, come back, to, not come back here, but we will uh, switch over and do some ramming. Does that make sense? Makes sense in my head. I've been that's, grinding one back round. That's I true, think. actually. If you do it in hazardous, the the cops won't steal your supper. This isn't foil. What's that? <laughs> yeah, you know, shoot it before you can finish it off. It's, ah. Uh... Oh, got yeah. Yeah, that is true, Pro Rock. People are catching Pokemons in cemeteries, so <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Humanity, what what has become of you? Yeah, get to crash Jameson ship model from the shop on the way out. Oh, well, I guess you're flying. Oh, Paka. Not linked or Oh, Paka. You see, this is what it's for, right? You have, you have the, the, the ship fly thingy. So you can have a drink. And this is exactly right. Take all the pressure out of the mail slot forever. Yes, but you don't go out of the mail slot sideways, do you? You're always no. going out front. Where's the fun in that? Well, speak for yourself. This is true, Very true. <laughs> Probably happens all the time. So, yeah, we're not going there. You you catch planet herpes, which is humans. Uh, yeah, they, they sort of they come and, and ogle from a distance, but they're not getting close. They know what they know what it's like down there. Uh. Take photos of us from a distance, scan for data, then they'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I, I, ah, you just booped me, Connor. You just kicked me out of the galaxy map. <laughs> Wait, it, it, yeah, you booped you so hard you fell out of the galaxy map. Yeah. Oh, I didn't hit you on my screen. Oh, you... the the stream would beg to differ. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, you'd expect to find ghost-type Pokemon near the side. Oh. Really, Taito? That, really? That would be, that that... Would be in horribly bad taste. That's but where you're going with that. Especially <laughs> from a, a culture that has ancestor-honoring things going on. That would be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it would have a particular kind of logic to it, though. It, it horribly would, yes. But so, so there you are trying to find ghost type Pokemon. What? Cemetery then? <laughs> oh, all oh, right. Got a story for you. Got a story for you, all right? Story, story time, everybody. So, so um, this week. So I, I've kind of taken a week off of like being online. So I don't know if any of you miss me. If you have, I'm sorry. If you haven't. <laughs> Anyway, so um oh, barely noticed. You barely noticed. I, I noticed. 
So anyway, I went to uh, a safari park with my girlfriend and um, we're driving through the safari park and then we parked up, went and looked at some other animals. And she says, well, shall we go around again? Uh, to, and see if we can get some better pictures of like the rhinos and things like that. So it's like, yeah, okay, let's let's go around again. She was driving, and uh, so we're going around the, uh, the, the the safari park, and then we got stuck. Obviously, uh, you can only drive around as fast as the car in front of you. The car in front stopped, and uh, there was a bear crossing the a black bear was crossing the road. I was like, okay, black bear crossing the road, we'll stop. And he went in and sat down on the grass. And we're like, oh, look at that. A black bear sat on the grass. Oh, look, he's got a friend. Another bear came out from the uh, <laughs> the grass. And so this other bear came behind the car. Like, was like eh, don't mind me. I'm just a bear doing bear things. So, like, bumbles around behind the car and bit the tire. Just yes. took a massive bite <laughs> out of the tire and flattened it. <laughs> so, Stupid humans, yeah. So the uh, uh, the light came on in the in the car, saying um, pressure warning. We're like, well, what are we gonna do? Let's drive. Let's just drive. <laughs> Let's get away on from the bear path. before yeah. we savage the entire wheel. It That's did not what it was steal. J two. It's it's picking the basket. That's what it was all about. Yeah. So we we drove very carefully um, to the parking place, like uh, taking the uh, the <laughs> bear asset park. <laughs> so we took we took the. Um, there's a safe route out up there into the car park. Took a look at it because maybe, maybe it was just a coincidence. Uh, you know, she's been having tire pressure issues. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe just scratch it or something. No, massive bite mark out of the tire. Two like on either side of the tire in the corner. Huge bite mark. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yogi, you want a chew toy? Yeah, but it's a car, Yogi. Put the car down, Yogi. <laughs> so like, oh, it's okay. We'll just call the AA. No signal in the place. We had to use a landline in the shop to try and get a signal. Well, that, that's they don't want the animals phoning out. I and getting, see. And getting escaped, so there's no signal there. You know, you can't. Oh, just... UT double O seven. Thank you for the follow. The, the monkeys would nick people's phones and then call all sorts of things. So you can't have a signal. Yeah, I suppose. But yeah, so that so that happened. <laughs> oh, the bear that, was tired. That's the thing that happened. Oh. It was tight. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, hey, Jans, you just strap them on the grass while I take this tire out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did all be phone out for pizza? They would, they would. Well, well that, we... that, that rhesus monkey you posted a pick off, yeah, he's definitely had too many pizzas. Yeah, oh, totally. So that's the other thing, right? So you're going around uh, and the uh, monkeys, loads of monkeys, they'll climb on your car and they'll, they'll just hitch a ride across the monkey section. like It's like they call a bus. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. Lazy. <laughs> Ancient record of ramming shenanigans has been posted to the bro bar. Uh -oh. Indeed. But yeah, so so that was that's the thing that happened this week. Well, last week. It's technically this week, isn't it? Yes, it's it's a video of the Imperial Annihilator, sir. You must remember that one. Oh, was that a Minis video? Minis, yes. Uh, we'll have a look at that later. Drive right, we should be there soon, unless it's like taken the long way. Oh dear. Yeah, look at the, the whole thingy there in the little hot the shield display bottom right. Mm -hmm. It's vaguely reminiscent of being a TIE fighter logging on the back of a an X-Wing, isn't it? I have you now. It looks like that. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yes, it does. Very nice. Oh dear, you wonder if he thought the snack was a bit rubbery. Oh, it was a bit rubbery. I, I, I think maybe they just thought it was like a big licorice. Just having a chew. He was just counting all the cars. You know. Right, that's one car too many. I'm not going to... No, it's too much for today. It's a good job we started moving, I think, otherwise he would have made a, like, literally, no pun intended, a proper meal out of it. And savage it. Father Bill! Tell. Hey, buddy! You can tell why they do things like that. Frame shift, 
Oh my god, Jerry. Oh, really? No. <laughs> Luckily, he didn't eat the others. Guess eating one was too tiring. <laughs> dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, so that was actually a more expensive uh, day out than we actually anticipated. Just smoky, testing the, the grooves to make sure they're of uh, legal depth. That's however, however, right, uh, the girlfriend sent an email to the safari park and said, what happened? And uh, said thank you to the, the manager, who was really helpful. There was uh, this girl who was just really kind and helped us out. And uh, so they sent her a free ticket. So she can go again. Which is really kind, I thought. In the Mad Max truck. Please come back and feed our animals again. <laughs> With your tires. Have you got a new one? Yogi hungry. <laughs> oh, I don't think you can hear Harry. Time. He's barking like mad. He's not feeling very well, yeah. Harry, isn't Hey, JT. There's the car I'm looking for. The one with the big tyres. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all those tasty tyres. <laughs> yeah, poor Harry is not very happy at the moment. Uh, so. spray. <laughs> On the this wheels. This is England. We, we have no idea what bear spray is. <laughs> yeah, what is bear spray? Is it like, is it like a beauty product for bears? Like, mm, I look fabulous. What's up with Harry? He's he's a he's a bit old. He's, he's fourteen years old he's and old. he's he's not doing he's very well. He's got thirty years like uh, yeah. like that breed tend to get when they get a bit old. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to take him to uh, the vets this week. No, we don't we don't stop Paddington. Oh, we, we, we just, just give him a marmalade sandwich. He's fine. Yeah, that's you know that that'll put him right. Mm. Um. Yeah, so Harry's got an infection in his ears, um, but that's not why he's barking. He's, I think he's going senile. So, poor guy. Yeah. Marmalade sandwich, that's right. Not that a tyre looks like a marmalade sandwich. I don't really know why the bear was going for it. but. I mean, I did tell you know. did tell her not to smear marmalade all over her tyres before we went. I mean, that was probably yeah, a mistake. Yeah, it, it is probably... <laughs> From the makers of Sharp Repellent Bat Spray, the all-new Bear Spray. Right. He keeps bears away all day. In, in the UK, have been yeah. buying it, using it for years. Not one bear has come near me. Yeah, we have come to see, <laughs> I'm seeing bears in this country for years. <laughs> right, I want to see if there's any missions that we can do, uh, just like delivering stuff for a bit while we deliver this thing. Because then we'll get some uh, kill, kill the person missions and we'll just ram them. I'm going to ram them. Cedar oh, says it's bear spray like fly spray. And if so, does that mean <laughs> bear paper? Sticky just, bear paper. It's stick up and the, the bear. Oh, oh, no, I'm stuck. I can't get up. It's like honey on the paper. Yeah, and they just get their paw on it and they can't get off. They're stuck there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You are clear for oh, what a mistake. Oh, that'll teach me to eat the tyres. That sounds like a, a Gary Larson comic. That's mm -hmm. the Far Side comic. <laughs> I am going to have to take a short break once I've landed and see what's up with Harry. You'll see he's barking a lot. Well, that gives uh, people the opportunity to have a 37.5 second uh, That is true. Break, that is it? true. Yes. <laughs> See, six bears hanging off your bear paper in the morning. Oh, not the bears again. <laughs> get, get, get some bear paper. Right, is this going to land on pad 35? Alright, so once I've landed, I shall uh, have a brief break while I'm going to go check on my, my, my poor doggy. 
and make sure he's okay and then I'll be back. So stick around, we'll be back shortly. Welcome back everybody. So I just went to check on Harry, he's okay. He's just barking in his bed, he's just barking. No idea why. It is what it is. What is this bear with us, oh my God. At least the bear had a round meal. It may get to the point where all the puns are quite unbearable. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Alright then. Uh, I'm going to transfer the ship here to Ellis Gateway. Shipyard, shipyard. Um, so we've got 11 out of 40 here because we can, we can store 40 ships per station. Uh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Oh my god. Ah, oh, where are you? Better the Corvette ram it. It'll take 23 minutes. Oh well, that we'll spend that time doing some normal missions in the Type 8. Transfer to this location. Confirm. That's on its way. Melt of snowflakes. How are you doing? We're making the bare minimum on chat. Is that what we're doing? I'm retiring from this Earth night conversation. Oh. I see what you did there. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna let's see what missions we can do. Can't do combat missions because uh, they. Um, but we can do transport ones with this ship. To try and oh, that's a group one. What's that? Not too horrible. Be better if the computer we're working on would cooperate. What you doing? Oh, expansion data. We can take that. And uh, we'll get some mats, I think. Oh no, it's just implements and things. So, uh, surface retrieval for skimmer components. Can't do that because th this thing doesn't do SRVs particularly well. Uber Eats. Oh! Oh, is that another one for this? Encrypted storage data for expansion effort. Alright, we'll do, we'll do all this encrypted data stuff. So it'll it will take a bit of time. So we'll accept a mission. And take that one to somewhere else. This ship should be fine at like all the jumping. So I believe see. I believe these ones you gotta go and find the storage. What? What? It's not uh data couriering. Uh need to go find the missing Okay. We'll try it. I mean, I've not done this before. Is it on the ground then? I don't know. Never done it. That's also another one. 702 units of silver for 50 million. But you can't... I believe you can just go buy silver. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do that one then. 700... And blah, 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 blah. And that, you get engineering mats with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, rep level 8 so what's my inventory on this 340 it'll be a couple of runs so I'm just going to buy silver can I buy silver here <laughs> would that be a thing I think that's about I don't um, think you'll be able to do that they, they fixed that it happened in a couple of places uh, well let's see can I buy silver silver no all right so I need to uh, I'll go to sell silver uh in the metals and see where I can get it from. Silver. Uh, so consumed by, produced by Naganji. All right, well, we're going there. Russell Beacon, that's on a planet. But that's fine. We'll go to Naganji. It's really close. And then we can get some silver. We were over at Russell Beacon last time, weren't we? I think. Yes. I think it's quite far out, isn't it? But it's a good job. I've got the SCO drive. <laughs> All right, let's go. Maybe you can share this mission so I can help you. 
Yes. Uh, share the mission. Why did that just go... Just went daft. Mm. Anyway. Does that... Jazz cabbage. Oh, I see. Uh, what's that? Shame you didn't refuel before you SCO. I've, I've got... I don't need that much fuel. You're, you're only... Half, half the, whatever that little tank at the top is. I've never heard of Achilles called. It'll be fine. You've got a mommy tank and a baby tank of fuel. Baby and it's just a little baby tank, tank at the top. Baby tank. <laughs> It's the reservoir. So I started watching uh, the latest season of the Umbrella Academy and there's singing bloody baby shark and now I can't get out of my head. Oh, <laughs> they did it deliberately to annoy you. Exactly. Mama, thank you. Do, 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 do. And then you get the big, the big uh, fuel tanks. Daddy tank. Do, do, do. <laughs> uh, right, so we've got to get to um, the Genji, and then it is what's the face, Russell Beacon. It's like I've, I've got to bend down and pick up this, like ten points of IQ falling out of my head onto the floor there. <laughs> Just have to go and get them back. Oh, it's not far away. <laughs> Henry Kissinger, how you doing, buddy? Scorbinauts, I like it. Should I engage a little and a little? Turn it off before we overshoot. IQ? What is IQ? Uh, interests? Views? I don't, I don't know. Oh, I should have left it on for a little bit longer and I got there quicker. Idiot quota. <laughs> that works. Yeah, I like that one. I saw a thing that uh, instead of pumping all this, all this money into trying to find artificial intelligence, they should pour money in, more money in, and try to defeat actual stupidity. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Loop of shame. So, this is great. So, you've now mastered how to do the SEO, but you still can't stop at the target when you get to the end. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean it, it's fine. We, we're all fine. This is, this is all fine. <sighs> Rate the ship on a 10 point system. Yes. Uh, based on, let's see, going in a straight line very, 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 very fast, it's a 9.5. Uh, based on getting an SRV out the bottom, it's a 1. Ooh, that is <laughs> true. Yes. That is definitely true. Yeah. Um, but for it's a mining. Low rider. We, we, for if you want a small mining or medium mining vessel that um, can, I think it's a better miner perhaps than the Python. Uh, yeah. No, you don't think so. There was a lot of debate on that, and no, it's not better. But it is. It's not horrible. I quite like it. It's like nope trade. You don't like trade. it for trade. I mean. It depends on what ships you already have, doesn't it? So if you, if you already have a large fleet of ships, including Type Nines and cutters and things, then it's going to be rubbish for trade in comparison. And Type Nines for mining, um, if you want a lot of stuff. But what I found is if I'm doing mining, um, 
I get bored and don't end up filling up the hold of a Type 9 anyway. So, what's the point? Uh, in many ways. Like, it could be the right ship for the amount of time and patience that I have for certain activities. That's right, Type 9s are for racing. Exactly, Type 9s are for racing. You can't do Type 9s on small stations, that is true. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I guess it'll find its niche. I'm a big fan of throw the ship into the game and the players will find a use. Substantial circular orbit. There <laughs> Is that what it? That's what it stands for. No, I think it's, it stands for score crashes out. But they go. <laughs> it's dark. Dark. I, I I love the design. You think they could have put another star in this system? They could have done, yeah. But there's you only know, one so light source lights, in the game. Yeah. I like the variety. I like having as much variety as possible. I don't like there being just one ship that's the meta. Um, that will always happen. People will always find the most optimal way. But I find the most optimal way is not always the most fun. This is true. So it's everyone's got their um, their preference on it, and I think that that's wonderful. Uh, let's see, you all. And let's go buy all the things. Right now, this has not been optimized for. Um... There's a reason. For that. Right. It's so. Because it's it's chat engagement, so you can talk to chat and look at chat while yeah, the while it's talking. Going. I can fly the ship properly. Do not <laughs> do not worry. <laughs> this is this is a uh, but the oh, let's see where we're going. But so when when um, I'm landing and stocking i can talk to you guys more oh. effectively it is also because we, we make videos um, and yeah. it's great for getting some shots without mm -hmm. worrying about crashing into things yeah scorbin landing those two things are like water and oil thanks for our rock that is not true Pro. i have seen him do flight assist off landings successfully did you so, right yeah. tado will back me up what? on this i is did this I did an emergency rescue for Tato. He'd lost his ship. He was on foot. And I was in a beluga. And I flew down top speed. There was Thargoids around shooting ships down. And I oh, did I did a yes. J-turn and stopped and landed immediately. Oh, and Tato could that, get in. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was an epic moment. It's probably clipped somewhere. It was somewhere. cinematic it as really hell. Really it was brilliant. Was. It I just was. wish someone was filming it. Well, it, it's probably still somewhere <laughs> on stream, isn't it? Somewhere. No, oh, possibly not. on stream? Bid or it didn't happen. Sure. I think it's well, Twitch well, delete we... the old bods. They delete them all. Yeah. <laughs> we were on it stream. Is true. It, it is true, that one. I do remember it. Yeah. Why have I got a single limpet? It's Terry the limpet. He died in the <laughs> hold. He died and wouldn't come out. It's like, oh. eh. <laughs> Unless it's not really a limpet. It's a limpet mimic. It's, <laughs> it's the oh. limpet man. Oh, it's the limpet, man. <laughs> I, I bought some uh, stuff for for tabletop D and D. So I actually DM'd the game on Friday. Uh, uh, was it Friday? Saturday. Sorry, I DM'd the game on Saturday. So you know when you when you go to a shop and because I needed some, uh, I wanted to get you know one of those rollout um, maps that are blank, which has oh, got squares on them, so you can hexes. draw. Actually, saw squares. Yeah, well, this. Oh, you're squares. in dungeons. It'll be squares. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I thought I'll try and find one of those because I, I, I was running the Dragon of Ice by um, Peak. I know it very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so I, I thought, well, seeing as we're in Fandolin, um, it'd be nice to have um, maps that I can have for the buildings inside because we, we did all of the um, pubs and everything. Uh, grid map, that's that's the one, Apti. So um, while I was in there, I, the, the guy showed me this book which has got two books in it, ring bound, with different terrain maps in there, all squared off, like beautifully printed. So, and there's like a matching version, multiple variations on different pages. You can stick them side by side and make a big map. And so you can have dungeons, oh, nice. you can have, have terrain, you can have all sorts. There's loads of different maps. They're brilliant. Uh, but I also saw, 
I bought some new dice because, of course, you have to. It's like the law. And yeah, I you, bought. You can't, you can't shop without buying some dice. I bought a dice box. Uh, I'm going backwards. Why am I going backwards? No, go forwards. That's, forwards. That's, that's not to do camera. with cameras. That's the camera. That's not to do with You weren't in the camera, though. I was before. I auto landed and it, it remembered. Right, so, um, some, some century shields. But I, so I bought some new dice, but I thought, what's that over there? And I saw a new dice box. It's this big and it's a mimic chest with <laughs> teeth and everything like that. And you open it and you put your dice inside. It's awesome. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh, do you have you have that as well, Apti? The, the mimic dice box? No, no, it, she said she had the, 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 the mappy overlap. Show it. You want me to? Sh I'll, I'll go oh, get it. Oh, you've got one as well. Oh, she does have one as well. Brilliant. I'll go get it. I'll go get it. Back in a second. All righty. Yes, we need to see this. That is a spectacularly good idea. To have. It's like the fun we're having with the the mimics and goblin cleanup. Well, yes. Well, you'll definitely want one when you see it, Pro Rock. Definitely. Yeah, that's going to be a thing. <laughs> um, well, it's, it's sort of. It, where is he anyway? So, oh, he's just he's flying. I was wondering why it's wobbling a bit, but he's flying near a planet, isn't he? So, yeah. Yeah. Bit of gravity. Right. Let me get my hat on. I, I yes, I know. I know that. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> right, so this is the book of uh, towns and taverns. So, right, so it's two books. Let's see this. Two books with all different um, terrains in there. So, if I sh if I show you one of them, oh, so it starts off with a blank. So you can put your own. You can draw your own. But then, it's got things like this, inside of shops and taverns and things like that. Well, right? that's cool. Yeah. And outside of buildings and, and stuff like that. Right, so, so these are really cool. And, and the fact is, like, so you can have this one, and then, hang on, I'll make the room, and then I'll show you them together. All right, so another blanks. So if you need four blanks, just by having a couple of books, yes. you've got the uh, the thing, and so so then right. So you've got, let's see, say you want the table, you've got this guy, matches this guy. Can you see? Yes. How cool is that, right? <laughs> yes, there is. There's more. There's another one with caves, and there's one with the like. Dark too. Oh. Hey, vampire! You doing? And there's the um, there's the caves. There's the like the terrain, like snow and and forests and stuff, which I'm going to get. I'll go get that. He didn't have that. But then this caught my eye. Can you see him? Can you see him? <laughs> right? Oh, that is cool. Uh, yeah, how about that? And you open it and your dice are in there. <laughs> 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 They've been out for a while now. But I also, um, because, because I'm forever losing my dice and I thought, well, I want one that I'll find easy. Look at the size of D twenty, and it glows in the dark. Yeah, I think you're not gonna lose that one. <laughs> well, yeah. So, so like, I went in. I went into the shop to uh, just get some, like, a map, a grid map, and I came came out with all this stuff, spending over a hundred quid. Well, yes. So that's a. Uh, it's not Liquid Center. It, um, th they have mystery dice boxes as well, like packs of yeah. mystery dice. So you can like get random ones that are metal or plastic or sharp blood. resin um, plastic ones as well. Not got blood in them. Not with blood in them, but but they're really LEDs. cool. So you, you go in for one thing, you come out with loads of stuff because you go, yeah, want that, want that, want that, want that, want that. And it's this there's this shops just in town. It's awesome. I'm like I'm going there again. Because this is the other thing, right? If you have a hobby and it's something like this and there's a shop that sells it, don't go on Amazon. Go to the shop because oh, they need yeah. your support. So I'm like, yeah. oh, that's so cool. 
But yeah, I thought I'd show you that. I thought you might get a and kick out of that. There's very few occasions these days as <laughs> alleged grown-ups <laughs> where is... it feels it feels like being a kid in a in a toy <laughs> shop, you know. You don't get that feeling very often as yeah. a grown-up, alleged grown-up. So yeah, always go for local shop. The only ones in, in my day though were actually Games Workshop. They were just Games Workshops. Oh, Vamp, um, Goblin Cleanup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's what that is. <laughs> right, what are we doing? Oh yes, uh, going back to um, back to days. Yes, it's the turn in this stuff. So I've been prattling about maybe uh, maybe Connor's been going Scorp. I'll do the mission for you then, shall I? Probably. <laughs> but yeah, so I really enjoyed uh, being a DM again. I, I realised just how much, though, um, Roll20 does for me. Um, so even when I was DMing on Roll20 before, it does so much mm. of the, the stuff for me. I'd forgotten a bunch of things, like um, how you get an investigation check, like what stats you add up and stuff so so i'm gonna get ba get better into this now because um it's it was fun i really enjoyed it and really enjoyed the the like do, being the characters again and and i was the um because there was a, a manticore in in the in there so i played the manticore because they, they're intelligent they can speak and yeah. uh and it was fun it was so much fun uh because it was all new players <laughs> I TPK'd them with the manticore. Oh. It was a TPK. Everybody died. <laughs> so I thought, well done. Well uh, done. I thought, well, it's your first game. Um, let's pretend this didn't happen. So I'll put the man. I'll do a reset. Put the manticore back where he was. Everyone gets their hit points back. Put yourself where you would have come right. in, and we'll do it again. Let's see. And then they almost. It was almost a TPK, oh. but. Uh, but it was it was good. It yeah, was good. Well, because they had TPK the first time, the almost is twice as tasty, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. Oh, the, yes, we won. The epic <laughs> moment of survival. I've gone all fuzzy. I've gone fuzzy. Yeah. I, uh, it does confuse. Yes. Let me sort this out because it does well, confuse it, the it's, camera. It's scared of your mimic. Yeah, it's a mimic. Ca camera's scared of your mimic. That's yeah, what that's, that's what it is. It let me be. uh let me go. Mimic. Yes. It's a, a chest. Well, it looks like a chest, but it's Nommy. Man with pixelated face. Yes, um, I'm. Uh, no, that's that, that's not true. Actually, I mean, ha having been down to ECM with him last week, he does have a pixelated face. What you're looking at here <laughs> is this is AI upscale. He's, he's, you know, the yeah. camera's looking. That blurred scorp is real scorp. That's mm -hmm. what he really looks like. I recently had a D&D session where I DM'd. Uh, our dwarf rogue rolled uh, six nat ones and got hit by three nat twenties and almost died to three go to three goblins. <laughs> what? Lauren, uh, Jesus, this is what happens just yeah. occasionally. Like in um, our battle with the ancient black dragon uh, that you missed on Thursday school. You know. Uh, yeah, it just rub that in. Rub, rub it in. Why yeah. Don't you? Yeah. Well. Uh, new. <laughs> Two crits in the same uh, the same turn, and with nukes damage, I think he ended up doing something like 158 damage or something. Yeah. So well, yeah, the dragon went from ha 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 to oh bollocks. So, <laughs> in one, well, one you, round. <laughs> you can imagine though that up against the Manticore, three level one characters with like 12 oh, hit they, points each. They wouldn't, they wouldn't stand wouldn't stand a chance. No. No, it's like they're, they're literally no hit points. Uh, it, if this manticore crits, it kills you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so the only way that they could defeat it is if um, I role played it a little bit, <laughs> used or trying to. Because there's a reason why the manticore's there uh, in the there game. It. I won't spoil it for people who want to play it. Uh, so the Dragon of Icefire Peak is actually a fantastic starting D and D box. It is. It is. Uh, if you want to get into D and D, it's fantastic. It's like, like why haven't you already done it? <laughs> <laughs> right, where are you? station? But yeah, it's it's a really good way of getting you started. Incoming message. 
What is the message? That'll be your ship. Oh, my, my ship's arrived! Yeah. <laughs> Slow down for autodoc. And now, I can talk to you guys. See what? See how this works? <laughs> yes, of course. Remember to always roll for, sedu for seduction and hit natural 20. Hit natural 20. So what, you want the manticore to fall in love with you? Oh, I, I didn't realize it was you. <laughs> what are you doing later? Then stab it. <laughs> and while you're doing that, the rogue comes and stabs it. Yeah. Always. I say, that's a rather nice helmet you have there. <laughs> There he goes again. <laughs> I know. I know. Just no. I you every time. Doesn't like rules. Just like. He's a lover, not a fighter. Well. What? Manticore. He, oh. he's, they're actually evil. <laughs> they're very evil. Yeah. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. We only had time for that one encounter, really. After character setup. Like, if you're going to uh, start oh. playing. Put at least two hours aside for your character setup for everyone. Of course. Of course right, that so... matters. It matters. Fists rubbing helmets is all gone downhill again. Yes. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Alright, let me let me turn in the silver. See how much is we Is that a have. euphemism? No. Why would it be a euphemism? I don't know, it it just has a ring of a ring to it, doesn't it? Uh, do we do we oh we t turn it in here, don't we? Into the the jobby, into the depot. Follow the blues on the way out of your mission. Follow <laughs> the blues. <laughs> you to deliver the items. I have this many to deliver. Oh, I think Connor's got this when What? How come there's so few in there before? What you? Uh, have you not got yours maxed out, Connor? No, I had a bunch of. Uh, limpid controllers in it as well. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. It's, it's mine is meant to collect mats, not. Mm. Okay. Uh, I can do it in. The, I, I can do it in the next game. Yeah, you can, I can you'll finish be able... it off in the next. Okay, yeah. I'll let so you, you do that. Then. The I'll start with the shooting. Thing. So, well, we're not shooting. We are not shooting. We are only right. ramming. Better than a Corvette. The rammer. Use this ship. <laughs> so it's a very pretty ship. Uh, is this one? It's it's got this as your um, blue thing, and it is for ramming. It looks like a chisel. It has no guns. We deliberately put no guns on it. Big engines at the back. It's like a hammer drill. Let's you know see what how I it does. Can't wait to happen. Well, we just blow up. Is the federal assault, assault ship fails so badly that you have to now say that the ASP Scout is better than <laughs> both the Corvette and the federal <laughs> assault ship? Oh, dear. You haven't seen any ramming. Okay, calm down. There's always a bit of a build-up before the ramming. Always. Oh, my goodness. Jeez, it's, it's, you can't Six, just I, go... I can hear Seedweller cackling... You no. can't just go straight in with the ramming, can you? It's like, it's not done. <laughs> if you if you just go straight in with ramming, everyone's exhausted by 10 o'clock. Oh. <laughs> Sub the foreplay. <laughs> Welcome to the broadcast, everybody. God uh. help us, we do this every Sunday. <laughs> okay, so this is going to get... <laughs> Right, so we're gonna we're gonna kill Chris Holdsworth. He's in the Ganji. And we will get wow, twenty unexpected emission data. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> what is 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 this like tailor made for the mood that we're in tonight? I think it must be. You're going uh, up in a lift, you know. Da, 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 oh, sorry, that was unexpected emissions. <laughs> Honestly. Well, uh, I'm not going to do this one because it's. I, I just want mats. So, J Henry J has to die. I'm going to get strange wake solutions. Twenty of them though. That's a lot. You're in Ukraine, and I must go to the shelter rocket. Take care, buddy. You be safe, okay? Yeah. Be safe. Yeah. So, we're all we're we're all we're all there with you, buddy. In mm -hmm. in spirit. So, 
Loot says just ramming won't get you credits until you shoot. Well, it's not after the money. It's yeah, it's not about the money. Kill. I'm it's about I'm... the kill. And yeah, the job. The kill gets you the mission complete and gets you the mats. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. So let's try this concept. Um, I am going to probably encrypted data. Bit, bit. We'll keep these. This might be something that we can do. We'll take out Chris Hodsworth. Holdsworth. Um, first of all, so we're going to go to Naganji. Uh, but first of all, I want some limpets. Go to advanced maintenance because that's the place where limpets are. For some reason. Uh, I can have up to 12 limpets, which I will have. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. That's fine. Let's see. Uh, what? No mats either unless one shot. I haven't got any guns! Well, really? We'll test, we'll test that, dear. Yeah, we'll uh, all right. Well, I'll put a gun on it. I'll, I will. I'll put the finishing touches to it. So we'll go to one outfitting. Oh, I'll, I'll put a um, large hard point. Um, frack cannon. From past experiences, they after you kill them, they do get angry with you. So shooting That's the last true. shot will, won't really matter. Well, after you kill them, I don't want their friends coming after me. That's the problem. Well, let's put frags on here. Just in case we need them. Look, because we're, we're going to try out the, the the idea, aren't we? It's the third or fourth alarm today. What the hell, mate? Uh, 2D frag card. Oh, I want gimbaled ones. Why, why can't I get that one? Incompatible slot. What size is this? Hang on. Hard point. Oh, it's a class two. They don't have classes. Okay, so we'll go for uh, plasma. No, not plasma. Some rubbish with those. Cannons. Cannons, good. They haven't got any size two cannons. Uh, do they have... They've got size one frags. Oh, I'd have to transfer them. They're miles away. 2D frags. Share the mission and get away with one uh, of the team actually shooting the target. Can and go boom. Uh, uh, Not all got... missions can be shared. Yeah, this one can't be shared. And I'll put a 2D other frag on here. So it's all frags. So, because frags are good. And while we're here, I will have a crack at engineering the frags. If I can. Which I can't. I mustn't have unlocked the engineer for that or pinned it. I thought I had because um, the Mamba has got frags and they're engineered. Hmm. You may have just not pinned them. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think that is what it is. And Wheeler Towers, thank you for the sub. Sorry about that, mate. Um, 39 months. Uh, you, you did that an hour ago. I'm ever so sorry. You can just see the notification there. Oh, I've been a bit distracted, you see. Uh, so we have our mission. I've got some frags. I've got some limpets. Uh, let's see what it's like. I'm going to try, to start with, just going with ramming and see if we get materials. Because explosion's explosion. Why does it matter if I fired a shot or not? If it exploded, it exploded. Oh, I had some news as well um, on Monday. Uh, I was a little bit late to tell you guys. And um, for those who have been staying up to date with the the job news, I was um, at risk of redundancy. So I was a bit stressed out um, over the last couple of weeks. I had to interview for my own job. And uh, I passed the interview, so I remain employed. So, so that's a good thing. So, so there's that. Just the rules of the game. What the employment game? Yeah. So, so yeah. Thanks for all the kind words that people have had. I was really worried, but um, it's all good now. 
Uh, let's go here. So I can't share this mission. Or is it because the... Oh, what? 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 The Ganji. Okay. Stay there. Hold. Hold, please. Yeah, so I've been off work for a whole week. Um, so first day back tomorrow. It's going to be interesting. Speaking of, I've resigned from my hotel work. Uh, I will work until the end of October. Then we're changing job to something with less talking to pissed people. Uh, yes, well, there was incidents at RECM, wasn't there? Not to speak on the phones, but yeah. Yeah, it was all right. It was all right. ECM was a lot of fun. It was. And the fact that the hotel um, hadn't got a card machine in the second bar and there was a key probably saved me a bunch of money. Uh, there is that. There is that. Because <laughs> it would have just... It was £7 a pint. It, yeah, it was. It was... Um, a cider. Yeah, like, after having started standing there for 20 minutes waiting because they're giving you nervous glances because they don't know if the card machine works or whether they can use cash. Four pounds sixty for a coke. Yeah, it's it's oh, it was, it's it disgusting. Whoop. But the weather for me, just going a few hundred miles south, suddenly it was like being abroad. It was thirty degrees, clear sky. It was proper toasty. And the moment I I, I come back up to the north here, two stops up on the train and oof, gunmetal skies raining. I thought, yep, mm -hmm. nearly home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there was a uh, wedding. There was a wedding, yeah, but I don't think that affected our prices. How? No, it didn't affect our prices. <laughs> However, one really cool thing about that wedding was that some of the people in the wedding party were quite interested by what was going on. Mm. And so they were asking questions like, yeah, what? We what? Quite what? a long chat with the guy out there. Yeah. Well about that. Uh, where is it? So, so, yeah, so we were able to talk to them about Leak Dangerous and the. No, maybe we'll get some. Maybe. Where's the thingy maybe. gone? Where's it gone? It, it's it's the white thing that you've got highlighted. Don't head for the marker that says nav beacon. Head for the. Ah, I, the oh, that thing, yeah. The, yeah, the, the, thing, really that cool, I, the thing that I used as an Andra prop in all of my episodes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so yeah, so we were talking about elite um, to a couple of people, and they, they seemed really uh, really interested by it all. They did. Sun. Uh, it's just something is... I actually Where enjoyed it. it. It was a little bit too toasty, but yeah, it was nice. Because as I say, we don't get that kind of heat up here. So it was for me like being abroad. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Proper holiday feel. Mm. No, it's really good fun. It's like I say, you know, apart from like the, I don't, I don't know whether um, we'll be at the same hotel for the next ECM, but it's totally worth going to an ECM. Unlikely. And, you know, for just... Oh, wow, got two here. Oh, the degraded emissions is here. Excellent. Okay. Uh... Degraded emissions is not the one you want. No, it it's isn't. High grade oh. emissions. No, 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 no. It's, it's actually it's mission. About. It's, it's a mission, mission target. Yeah. I think it's on oh, a planet, it? though. Yeah. Or is it on a planet? Or... Uh, no, it shouldn't be. No. If it's degraded emissions. Degraded, yeah, they're always space. All right. Well, maybe I will, because they're in the same body, I think. It's a good, good nominations town. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nottingham's actually a great place for it. There's loads of places, Just, and it's cheap. It, well, it's become quite the um, convention-y, meaty place because of its mm. location now, hasn't it? Yeah. Is this running out? Do I need? objects for this right we'll do this first uh, being a musician I like the punters to love my work I don't want to hang out with them they're often all crazy yeah. well, I don't know what you're talking about mate well to be fair uh, uh, Dacoso had a great time gigging at the uh, at the ECM mm. because uh, we're all the same crazy as him, so yeah. <laughs> All the punters in the audience there were like, uh, were like family to Tom. So. Hmm. Oh wow, That's this is nice. wibbling all over the place. Yeah, not the same, is it? No. 
But it was, it was awesome uh, hanging out with Tom. Tom's brilliant. He's an absolutely lovely man. Oh, um, his daughter, my God, yes. She, she wasn't there for this for ECM, but yeah, uh, I understand she was at the VidCon there, Tan says. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, her voice is something else. Yeah. It is. But then again, so is Tom. Tom is just genius. Yeah, the apple and the tree but didn't fall far. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> wow, well, I thought that I was getting quite close to this, but nope. Let's try again. Warning. Yeah, I know what you mean, see to I Oh, wow. Warning. Temperature critical. Whoops. Whoops. Whoopsie. Oh, oh. I ho hope they're going to introduce some engineering that you can do to bring some of these uh, drives yeah. to heal. I think you're, you're batting zero so far today. What? Uh, we are talking about? Dro dropping in on targets accurately with that gun. Whoa! <laughs> You're batting zero. <laughs> oh, LCU is fantastic as well. Like ev everyone, brilliant. Like it's oh, always the, the so good song. to see people. He did a song with Tom. He did. He? he did. That was hilarious. Yeah. It's all on the vid. It's on the vid. Go and watch the vid. Yeah, yeah. But well, it's a long vid. Although there will be one, I think, just for Tom's set. That, that there be there will be. Yeah. And there'll be there'll probably be one for the um, the skit that we did with Frontier. Oh yes, which was funny. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I really made a dog's breakfast of this, didn't I? Yes. Goodness me. Come on. Come on. For heaven's sake, mankind. It's only 12 light seconds away. Uh. Warning. Temperature critical. Warning. Temperature critical. Warning. Where is he? Is he in the Fertile Lands? Let's see. Hey, hey there, guy. Are you the guy? Hey, Chris. Um, I want to have a conversation with you. You all right there? If somebody wants you. Don't come any close. Wait, you're not one of them. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I'm safe. No one can challenge me here. Uh, what, what's that? What's that you say? Oh, oh, hello. Hey, hey Chris. How you doing? Nice engines you've got there. It'd be a shame, a shame if, if anything happens to them. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's my bad. Oh, it's just a little clumsy there. It's a little clumsy. Hang on, let me come and take a look at your ship. Looks nice. What do you think, huh? Uh, yeah, it's alien. It says, Pips the systems. This is what it's all about this time. Oh, yeah. We don't, uh, need, yeah. don't need the weapons. Whoops. Yeah. Not today. <laughs> Pips the uh, uh, Chris, uh, why are you going so far away? <laughs> Come back! Well, his shield's not really taking much damage, is it? Whoops, missed him. <laughs> missed him! Yeah, that's right. Echo, Echo says, a third lance is the most proper sounding snake. Expect to wear monocle on a top hat. Greetings, I am a third lance. Come here. Well, it... well, your shield is coming up slightly quicker than his. <laughs> oh, I should call this the chisel. Oh, so what you're down to? Oh, that did take quite a chunk off your shields. Yeah, be all right. Um, I think solid boot like that, you took about. Percent off his shields. This yeah. could take a little bit. Take, take a bit of time. Yeah. Maybe the bi waves would have been a bit of it. <laughs> Did you fit those shield cell bags? Uh, no. Just shield boosters. Ugh. It's surprising that people don't learn to keep away. <laughs> really? He's <laughs> <laughs> still not kicking off, though. No, it's the thing. <laughs> Hey, Connor! My, my shields are coming back up. It takes ages. Slowly, yes. By weaves and banks. Sounds like a sneaking plan. 
Oh, missed him. No, I didn't. I got him a bit. Oh, My... yeah, that was quite a decent swipe. I mean, you've not done much to you in 90 seconds. <laughs> but yeah, that swiped another 15% of him. Yeah, I probably do need shield cell. Hey! Connor! <laughs> That's not meant to happen. Oops. Mayday, mayday, I'm under attack. They knocked out my engines. I'm leaking fuel. Oh, that's someone else. None dare claim my bounty. None would be able. Uh, you are. It's quite you... a bit of ice, this thing's being knocked out. Somebody Don't else. Anyone. <laughs> See, well, it says he'll be down to 20% by the time you explode. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? Uh, Come here, Chris. Bondulance. Oops. I think mine's a. Uh... I think I've actually done more damage to you than Chris. Yeah, about that. None can challenge me here. You're not doing... You're not doing... Oh, oh wow. My shields are coming right back up to 50%. Nice. Where's Chris gone? Oh, it's because you got four... Four pips in the system. Are you going to put the, the weapons pip into engines? That's all. They're better. <laughs> Go on, you. Go on. Let's surprise them. Oh, you missed him. Learn to keep away. Missed him. Come back here. Come back here and take what's coming to you. Uh, yeah. Alien says they always come back to 50%, mate. Well, I don't know. Well, don't think they do it much. Oh, 60%. Apparently, uh, that, that other one is being ambushed by pirates and he can't take, he can't hold them off much longer. Is he, what has he been smoking, that guy? <laughs> He's on the only other head in this ship there. It's on 7%. We'll get his shield to them, we'll just start ramming him. The ramming will commence, are you happy, Sea Dweller? Ramming will commence! <laughs> oh, missed him. Did I miss him? He's on 8%. Get ready with the ramming! He's, he's like dodging us. Well, yeah, someone keeps trying to ram him. <laughs> oh, shaky. Missed him. Oh, I got him a bit. I think we think we need to get him uh, in a position where we can get some proper rams on. Oh, that was a proper. He's on two percent. Two percent. His shields are gone. His shields are gone. <laughs> Is he complaining? No. His shields it's, are just sounds, failed. The, the, the gob he's chucking out there is like El Scorpius. Yeah. Many have challenged me, now they are just space dust. <laughs> oh, he's trying to get his shields back up. Come here. Wherever I am is my jurisdiction, he says. Do you have something for me? Ram, 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 ram. Oh, he's on 50%. Ooh, that was a decent solid. 47? I'm on 1% shields. Come here! Take what's coming here. I'm fighting. He's trying to jump. Is he trying to run away? No. He is! Get him! Oh, he's surging. Damage resistance weakened. 
Who's, who's attacking me? That's uh, on the side of Papa Tim, see? Yeah, I think I got hit by him as well. Come here! Oh. Missed him. He jumped. The little bugger jumped. No, he's still there. He's still he's there. Still there. He? He's still there, yeah. I haven't got any hips in anything. Any weapons. Oops. Uh, oh, I'll have that there. Out of range. All right, Chris. Oh, he died. That was it. Uh, Chris died. Yeah, I noticed that. Programming limpet drone. Programming limpet drone. Yeah, well, I suppose you can scoop up his bits now. Get your dustpan and brush out. Mm hmm. Well, at least there's just a hard point loadout. No. <laughs> that's that's not the point of this build, is it? Well, yeah, you don't want to do any shooty shoots. Ah, oh, excellent, Beowulf. Yeah, there's something. Maybe just a bug. He could get all his cargo racks this time. That's good. You got it all, did you? Gimbaled corrosive multi would go a long way. It's the thing is, uh, it, he's in a. When you've got some of these guys in a big uh, wing of four, they um, they will all turn on you if you're on your own, and that's what makes yeah. this a lot harder. So yeah. by booping them and getting and killing them with just like the ship. Uh, hey, Marty Twitch! By by booping them and killing them with just the ship, they don't turn on you. You can no, just get the mission hard. target. Reward available. There we go. Right, let's go and get some more. Uh, well, you've got the um, degrady whatnot to visit as well here. Yes, yes, I'll go do that. So I'll, I'll hopefully have. Um... Expired. What's that over there? Oops. Go get it, Limpet. Go get it's it. Not bad. Not valid, it says. It looks like precipitated alloys. It's strange, but... Galvano. Oh, inventory's full. I've got all of those. Oh, Galvano. What else do you Oh, that's why you can't get it. Okay. Mm. Smart limpet. Shielding sensors. Oh, I need them. Where are you? 44%. Yeah. Good. Oh, what is uh, affecting my ship? Did you take damage when you did some booping? Nope. Are you having a, a, a controller conflict like last time? <laughs> You've had that before, time or two. Oh, wow. What's going on there? Hmm. You see that? And the axis has gone weird? Yeah. Wobble some leads, maybe. Hmm. How very weird. I'm fighting a very strong vulture here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because you were shooting at him, they've gone after you. <laughs> I don't know what on earth is going on here on this. Uh... Sea Dweller, you know, you know these things. What's happened? What happened? Well, uh, let's see. Hmm. So it looks like it's gone wrong. If it's FC, just unplug it. Okay. Unplug. And replug. Have you tried, huh. turning, off? Have you tried no, that, turning it off and on actually, again? That's bang on. Well done. Awesome. You're welcome, yeah. mate. <laughs> How the... What? Right, why did that do that? It's 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 just an IT crowd thing. It's just like, well, no, because it's like, I've, it's press, never done press that before. Play on the tape recorder. So, Thank you. Oh, you're all right. Pretty, pretty good. 
Click. You ready to commit? Click. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's find this other thing. This other... Oh, has the marker disappeared? Or oh, it needs to be in space? Space! And they... and supers. Super space. Like super Earth. Mm -hmm. You're just in normal space at the moment. That's what they call it. That's weird. It? I've never seen normal it do that before. Space. No. Yeah. Rarely just needs a quick stick boot. Right. Mission related signal source. Uh, okay, so we're at zero. Let's find that. It's not on a planet, is it? So no, if we've gone through that before. You don't get degraded the emissions on planets. Okay, it's 20,000 light seconds away. Mm, I Dare I? I? <laughs> but look at the drift. Look at the drift on this. It's insane. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. fighting back yeah that's nuts i've got yeah no he's, he's got he's got he's he's in the bubble and he's he's not traveling too far he's good but that did no dents on that at all like oh my goodness gravity well so uh, i'm hoping that the, they'll introduce a new um engineer that lets us like make the SCO drive a little bit more bearable with these other ships. They'll probably do that when the Type 8 becomes um, open to everyone. Mm. Because the Type 8 is just butter smooth in SCO. Butter I don't think smooth. they'll put another engineer in, they'll add it to someone else's repertoire. Oh, well, well, they added engineers in Colonia. Yeah, because it's Colonia. Yeah, but it's, I don't think it's as big a deal to add an engineer. No, it, it's it's not really. Is it? It's as more as assets. It's a, it's an in-game portrait, and you just yeah. Pop if Frontier down. wanted, they could reach out to the community. We'll make them for you. Make as oh, many oh, as you want. Oh. Make as many yeah, as you want. Oh, uh, Jan, do you like the T-shirt? I'm wearing the Starstone T-shirt. Oh yes, indeed. <laughs> oh yes, yours has the has the logo, the the, the motto on it, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Mine just had the actual stars and trees words on it. Yeah. yeah so it's a, uh, was it? Yes, making yesterday's tomorrow today. Yes, yesterday's tomorrow today. This is taking too long. It's taking too long. Yes, and uh, what was the other one? Uh... Oh, and now I look of shame. Now I do. But see, you're still batting zero. <laughs> oh. Uh, Look see. of shame. Okay, so, all right, so we're, we're good. We're on six. The, ru the rule of six. Very disturbing video that you did. Mm. Six. <laughs> yes, the joy of six. Yeah, bringing you yesterday's tomorrow today. <laughs> I love that. And what was what's the other one I, I had? Um, it was a company that's been building today for the past thousand years. Yeah. It's so, Sea Dwell, are you set? Are you settled down um, with the place yet? We should have a chat after the stream, if you want. If you're around. Oh, come on. Come on. Mission objective detected. Oh, here we go. Right, what we got we got you, eh? Ooh. Okay. So what we're gonna do? What we're gonna do? Get the collector. Go get all the things. Cargo scoop deployed. Yeah. 
Well, you've got my number, mate. Oh, bollocksy, stupid collector limpet. Because I had the thing selected. It, it went... It's malfunctioning, honestly. As if. Programming drone. Right, so cause there is some like encrypted data storage and all sorts of stuff here. Need them all. Mm. But I don't want the grain. I don't want the bio waste. Grain, ignore. Bio waste, ignore. Oh, you can't do voice chat. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, well, just let me know when you sort it out. We'll I'll I'll give you a hand and uh all that stuff, you know. And I have got a big bottle with your name on it. I thought you were gonna say I've got a big bottle. Why would I say that? I don't what? know. Why would I say that to Maybe it's the kind of thing you'd say. Who knows? <laughs> I'm going to ditch the bio waste. Jettison it. Abandon it. I don't care about that. You, it sounded like that to you as well. I've got a big bottom with your name on it. That's what you thought I said. <laughs> oh. What the way the stream was going tonight? All right, it's just you know. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we got that's two missions for price of one. I'm gonna go back to the the thing. Uh transaction. Oh we got the silver done as well. Uh I'll take us back to the thing. Awesome work, Connor. Awesome work. Mm-hmm. So that's three lots of missions that we can just turn in. There is no right way to play this game. Uh, in fact, I think if you try and do it the right way, you'll soon get bored. There is many ways to approach every single problem. And variety is the spice of life. You know, it's interesting because, yeah, there's no right way, but there are many wrong ways. Yes, we got the mission reward with no shots fired. Although Connor did shoot him in the end. Uh, yes, was, you was... with no shots yeah, fired. I, I didn't I, fire a shot. I, oh, I did no. shoot him at the end because he was going to jump away. Yeah. That is the right way. It's the the way you're having fun. Exactly. That's right. if, if you're having fun, it's the right way. We all play this game wrong. We know that. <laughs> According to someone... You're, we're playing the game wrong. However you play it, someone will say you played it wrong. Yeah, you're either landing the irony wrong, is flying you're all wrong. Enjoying it. You're all enjoying it, which means you're all playing it right at mm -hmm. the same time. The thing is, though, right, so even people who say, you're doing it wrong, they have a passion for it, and they want you to do better. They want you to... They think that they've got a way that would make it better and you would enjoy it more. There's nothing wrong with that at all. They're right. So, but someone... Not all. <laughs> but, well, no, they, they might be right in certain things. No, like, cause... that's one of the things about this community. It's so mm. engaged. Yeah, everybody's so passionate so, about it. So I will never say to you, "Stop telling me how to fly that bloody spaceship." I won't say that to you because, like, sometimes there's things that I just don't know. I'm still learning after uh, cool, yeah. playing this since 2016. Mm -hmm. Right, so oh, eight years. And, and I, I, there are things I still don't know. Still don't know. And and you, you could say, oh, that's just ridiculous. You haven't been paying attention. Well, I've been doing lots of things and I've had a lot of fun. Lots of fun. 
which should be quite clear because here I am still doing it. Because <laughs> it's certainly not for the money. <laughs> uh, why do you make YouTube videos? Is it for the money and the... <laughs> yeah, the rock star lifestyle that, that YouTube offers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Storm. Well, oh. that's an ordinary storm, not a shit storm. Shit take ace take storm, care, not. Alien Hunter. You take care, mate. <laughs> Unplug things. <laughs> yeah. So it it has to be because we're enjoying it. It sucks more money, <laughs> and and considering it is once you once you've paid for the game, it is literally free to play. It is yes. You just buy the game, and you can play as much as you want. Or there will be some people case, who just there will be people. In that who, case, you buy the game three times. Yes, but <laughs> but there will be people who argue that that's not free to play. No, it, yes, it's, yes, it's not free to own. But it's free to play. You don't need to keep a subscription going, and buying cosmetics and things is entirely optional. It is, absolutely. and there aren't any helpers or shortcuts that you can buy to minimize the grind. And anytime that they do that, anytime that they reduce the grind, they re reduce it for everyone because they've changed the gameplay. I mean, you could argue that they're a bit slow doing that, but that's that's a different story for a different day. You're not gonna find me complaining today. Oh, I have auto dock. Let's see this baby go in. No dents from the ramming. Why did... What the... What the... What? Oh! Blue Cobra. Well, what's it's... A, it's... No idea. Blue Cobra error? Right. What's no a idea. Blue Cobra? Well, at least you didn't lose a thing. With it well, no. well, before I turn the mission in again... I'm back! Oh. Right, uh, leaving team. No, uh, did you? Are you still in the thing, Connor? But nah, team? I kicked you out. Right, did you get the message? Awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm 20 kilometers away. It's almost the same as a yellow adder, but different. <laughs> that that's the that's the clarity. Let we me need. have a look here. Right. Uh... Blue Adder. Yeah, it goes... No, it's Blue Cobra, you had. Blue Cobra, yes. Uh, that goes it's along a with... a fisting the... error! Yeah, Purple Python, Gold Cobra, Teal Cobra, and Torp Cobra, apparently. Um, let's see... Variations on issues relating to the adjudication or in-game mission service typically appearing when you're requesting missions. Mm, that didn't work. But I wasn't. But that's what it said. Uh, uh, front, I was Frontier docking. suggests taking a look with your router's content filters to disable any that may be present with a particularly close eye on ones which aim to filter fragmented traffic. I hope that makes sense to you, because I haven't got a clue. Uh, I ain't doing that. <laughs> Remember to share the silver mission again. Yeah, we'll do. If it hasn't been shared already, uh, silver share mission. Got it. Yep. Got it. So, what's the magenta crate? That one is goes along with the scarlet crate, and they refer to errors with your connection to the transaction server. Apparently. Right. Okay. You made it up, says <laughs> Brooke. <laughs> but it's an actual one. It's an actual one, yeah. Right, let me fix the ship. I'll, That's uh, going to cost me next I'll put a link. I'll put a link, because I found one. Oh, nice. So, you've got the... Not, from, not from Frontier, but it's someone that's sort of okay. mostly put it together. There you go. So, you have the, uh, the, the mission shared, Connor? Yeah, oh, you, I got it. You can turn it in yourself, can't you? No, you got to complete it. 
Okay, well, the and silver... And collect the rewards. Uh, right. 12 units of exquisite focus crystals. It is real. <laughs> <laughs> See? It's... What about Tartan Boa, says well, Henry Kissinger? We need a feather boa, don't we? Oh, uh, yeah, that's another thing. Um, if you watch the VOD of the um, oh, ECM... Oh, yes. <laughs> we won't spoil it. <laughs> no, we won't spoil it. <laughs> but yes, watch the bit with the little sketch with Arthur and the real boy. Uh, we want influence, don't we? Because it's for um, for Starstone. Oh, yes, I suppose. Influence. And we want Plaid Boa. <laughs> and this only, one... thing, only thing Plaid would be an SCO error, wouldn't it? Yeah. Unexpected <laughs> emission data. Ooh. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. I love that. So, more materials. It's a grade three. Yeah. That's a high, high, high ranking uh, unexpected emission data, that is. Ooh. Yeah, that's almost, that's almost a shot. Yeah. <laughs> or it's like uh, foie gras rather than, uh, you know, corned beef or something. So. <laughs> I thought you said... Your parts are like foie gras. No, that's what would that's cause went, them. There's something that went very, very wrong. Very wrong. This is how you, you don't want to be sitting there with the face you would pull. I just yeah. foie gras myself. <laughs> Talk about the other ends. The, the going in ends. Not the Oh, Daddy, where does foie gras come from? Don't ask, son. Don't ask. Oh, don't, don't. don't. That that oh. reminds me of some horrible thing that, <laughs> with 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 my uh, my bad minion dog oh. in the old days. I used to take him out and you know, scoop up the you know, drops one, so you scoop it up, little doggy bag, and things take it. And I, I didn't have any proper doggy bags. I just had little sandwich bags, you know, the clear ones that you get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I scoop this stuff up and got little bits of grass in it. It'll go in. I'm thinking, you know, I should put that in a <laughs> glass jar <laughs> and call it <laughs> Parson Russell's Country Spread <laughs> sell it to the market thing. <laughs> It's it's perfectly natural. It's all natural. It's a very strong smell. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, blame the dog. Uh, it's, it's it's so smelly. It drove my my mind to strange places when I was picking that up. So there you go. Oh his, goodness me! All his we, fault. <laughs> right, we still got to kill Henry J. Well, yeah, I do. Thanks, Bacchus. No, he's um, he's a, at least he's a known pirate. Yes. I, I want one of the jobs that says kill unknown pirates, and then they've got a name, because that would be fascinating. Uh, still don't have strange weight solutions, right? Yeah, Bacchus is right. You need help, Jan. That's just messed up. <laughs> messed up. <laughs> I, I never actually did it. Then I would really. <laughs> yeah. Right, oh, how much damage is there to the ship? The extra internal repairs. And the external repairs, how are we doing for that? Ah, oh, oh, this is pretty cool, actually. Structural repairs. So they've got internal and external repairs. You can repair them. One at a time, if you want. Yeah, I like that, actually. You should go, nah, I never like that module. I never, I've like, never seen that. Ne never seen that before. No, I, I always I always click the all. Mm. Could never mm. go and actually look inside the menu. Right, so shall we? You need another beer. I don't blame you. <laughs> we yeah. need we need all the beer for this. I had one. I'd be getting it by now. But yeah. Right, so that yeah. bird lens was actually quite a tricky takedown. Yeah, you try uh, to it's, run away. It's a shield issue. Mm. We need the shields mm. to come back or last longer. Mm. Yeah, so the, the ramming... This is probably where we need a full party of the same ship just battering the crap out of this guy. Um, are you sure? 
I don't know. We'd have just ramming into ourselves. Oh, that's a good, a good pro rock, yeah. They're still quick. If, yeah, mm. if, you, if you've manufactured premium ammo in your crafty, crafty menu, if you reload it at the station, you'll lose the premium and you'll get standard ammo. So you can choose if you've got premium in one. Ah. To load a normal one and not the premium. Dum, dum. Smart. So, did so, you pick up any uh, heat sinks? Heat sinks. Shield cell banks this time. No. No. Okay. How about this for a bit of cinematography? That's good. There's a story the, here. The pumpkin anaconda. Very nice. Scary pumpkin anaconda. What that type nine's doing? Floating. Fifty. Yeah. The hell? Why is my ship booping your ship? What are you doing, Connor? You. He's a sod, he is. He's a bit ridiculous. He's a sod. He saw what I was doing. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> that serves you right. That serves um... you right. It <laughs> <laughs> serves you bloody right. We got his kit stuck in the mail slot. <laughs> right, so we got to go over to... Um... Oh, did I pick the place? Yes. Vakorimur. How have you pronounce that? Vasorimur? That place. No idea. Voko are. Eh! Mir. Yeah. <laughs> Mir. Yeah, it's Vokorimur, uh, I suppose. Loitering infraction detected. What? I didn't do anything. Well, no, it was when you were in the station there was a. Because you were waiting in the queue, and then somebody decided to mess with the queue. I see. Pardon me. Wasn't you? Mm. No, wasn't you? Not. Pardon me. Wasn't you? I didn't do it. What about bail? <laughs> <laughs> Went around in the spaceship. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> Right, so we got to go to the nav beacon. Oops, on the other side of the star. We just go through the star, it's quicker. It's just made out of gas, it's no problem. Yeah! I don't see any problem with that idea at all. Yeah, get your Star Trek metaphasic shields out, you'll be fine. Metaphasic shields. Yes. Beyond yes. phasic. Apparently, yes. They've used that in an episode or two, flying through pieces of star. BS and don't himself. forget, this there liner is at the top 1% of all liners out there. Oh, well, Scorpius is not happy. Because he will be in an orca. Yeah, well, he, he hasn't specified in what category of the top 1% it is. Oh, I see. Might be rubbish. Try not to crash into the of... sun. Don't need to recreate the old intro. <laughs> you, <laughs> you remember the old intro. <laughs> right. Where is our friend? He's in an anaconda. I bet that's him. Hi, hey guys. Do you know Bacchus is probably right? <laughs> that's Captain Bluey. He's clean. What about the vulture? Good day. Blood Dragon. That's a Starstone ship. The Crates Mark II. Behind me. Yes, oh, the... what am I doing? This nav beacon. It's, yeah, you just did a nav beacon. Being That's an idiot, I jumped ahead. Like to, where's the baddie? I'm, I'm just... Yeah, you, you edited your thought process there and snipped out the... Yeah, I optimised. Uh... All optimization is, is certainly should, in code, is cutting steps. Should have had a ghost sub there or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know uh, programming. 
it, so like if you need to count from one to a hundred as fast as humanly possible which you just did you see you you remove the yeah two the offending numbers in the middle <laughs> which and is what you did it is it's premature optimization <laughs> that's <laughs> it that's what it is it's exactly right you dirty programmer dirty dirty premature <laughs> premature optimization <laughs> This is the kind of talk that programmers get up to when the oh, yeah. lights go out. Ooh. The kinky ones use linked lists. Premature optimization. I have a linked list. <laughs> where where is the body? I thought we Oh well, did you, I... you scanned the scanned the jobby, didn't you? Yeah, but I should see a thing. Yeah, it should be. Maybe, maybe, are you in, pop back into Super Cruise or something? Find the contact. You know what? I'm going to do a thing. I'm probably be... I'm in see. Super Cruise. In Super Cruise. Oh, you are? Right. I'm going to find him. Ah, okay. He's going to be over here somewhere. You just scanned the nav beacon. You have all this. It did. It, it, sh it didn't sh It should have shown up, but obviously bugs a little from time to time I don't know maybe he paid his pirate friends to hack it yeah you know, I, 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 I what the hell what's that um well that's yeah is it going to be there or is it going to be the next one along on your chart I don't know where's the oh. asteroid belts probably at that mass Ah, mission change update message. Read it, says Sea Dweller. What? See. Right, read your message. Find contact. We aren't reading any signs of the target in the system. I've just received a oh. tip off from one of my agents in the days. It says he might have more information. Get over there and see if you can find him. Oh! I like this. I That's like this. Better. He's run. He knows we're yes. after him. I <laughs> like this a lot. Jo Joey says your bounty's in another castle. <laughs> but I like this. This that's this is a better, dynamic yes. thing. I don't tend to take these gigs, so that's that's better. The story, it's story. You could actually it's make story. you could make a story about this. You could do you these could. missions because this is what Spatula does. He mm. will make us. He'll just go. I'm going to make a story based on what actually happened in the game. Yep. Yeah. He's got a mind that works that way. Sparky spark. Mm. But but you know it's it is what it is. That this is why doing these missions can be quite rewarding because it's not just like go to A to B, uh, shoot thing, come back, collect rewards, spreadsheet, spreadsheet, spreadsheet. No no no. It's it's supposed to be a dynamic story. And the more it's like that, the more fun it is. Some people is. might go, oh that's so awkward because now I I just want to find the fastest route to get from A to B. Ah, spreadsheet, spreadsheet, spreadsheet guy. It's not what you're supposed to do. No, but then again, see, I'm not the one to tell you. there says that, that ain't my first pirate rodeo, son. I've I done this before. Yeah, but, but... I've done a lot of these. I'll show you. I'll keep you right and find out. Get that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, this, this is the thing. This is... Uh... Steve Miller sounds exactly like that, of course. Uh, yeah, um... <laughs> Maybe once upon a time. <laughs> But pl planning out is also a lot of fun. So, so going like finding this. So we went out to that system with the express intention of blowing up a dude, right? And he's not there. We can't find him. We scan the nav beacon, and he's not there. He's run. Uh, but now somebody back at base is uh, got a tip off. This is fantastic. This is a narrative now. Phoenix the fire. How you doing? So Thor got hammered. Thor did in He the, always uh, gets hammered, he can't handle his drink. Oh, the Titan. Titan. No, the Thargoid Titan. The Titan. Titan yes, what? Titan Itchy? Titan. <sighs> Please do not say you have an intention to blow up a dude. I, I mean, alright, fine. That's. 
get a bunch of filthy this, monkeys. This, this stream, it, it, it's just, I don't know what it is with the studs. Filthy monkeys. You all, you all need, you all need Braben. Uh, that's, that's, that's just elite filth, that is. Right. Come on. Scanny, scan, scan, scan. I don't know whether you need to do that because apparently the sea dweller says to follow them and drop out of Super Cruise to get their message. But I don't know where they are. Well, that's it. You have to find them in Super Cruise. Uh, right. Probably. <laughs> Andre Dittman says, Good job I found you. You're hard one to track down. Oh, there he is. That, that, that's <laughs> who you need to... Where is he? Is he in the Viper? Where is he? No, he's probably in the system. In Super Cruise. No, he's just sent me a message. Yeah. No, that's Daniel. But you could send it from... Type 7. Super Cruise, probably. Could do. But, uh... Titan... <laughs> it was Titan Itchy. I bought one, but <laughs> the ointment to work. I thought it was like a Tamagotchi, you know? A Titan Itchy. A, a Titan Itchy. <laughs> Go back into Super Cruise. Okay! I'm a professional assassin. I, I really am. I'm not Scorpius. I know what I'm doing. <clears throat> do you know who I am? I mean... Do you know who I am? Does anyone know like you're here? We're, we're not playing a game of who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> right, where is he? It's gonna I've be got, a bit I've got to Charlie. find him. Um, possibly, Pro Rock, possibly. Is he the adder? Is oh, yeah, we, we know that one. Yeah, um, Spatula did a thing on that, that one. Yeah, have a go. There you go. So you can. <laughs> what? The, the the Elite Dangerous oh. Adventure site, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. Like um, the old Steve Jackson books. <laughs> that is that him? Yeah. Hiya, Mr. Stevens. <laughs> oh, where'd that cue back go? We need a tray. How am I supposed to find this Muppet? Challenger? That's a different guy. Banshee? Keelback. Where's that bloody Keelback? Keelback. What's his name again? That's a different person. Nicholas Lebra. So it's, it's a guy named... Uh, oh, Zebra. Yes, Andre Dittman we're trying to find. Andre... <laughs> Connor barking hell. See what you did there. I think I've seen that before. Nicholas, he's wanted. He's wanted. Yeah, Brooks says the best way to find your mission target is to wait for him to find you. Okay. So we just stop... In Make in Soviet, sanities. yes, in Soviet elite, mission target finds you. <laughs> okay, so there's uh, Scandinav. Yeah, that, well, that, this is it, a different it's one. Possible, you see, because he he might have dropped out. You see, it's a different one now. It's different. It's all changed. This this guy, we've got to find him. This narrative. There's actually a thing to it. Hey Jack, what hey, Jack. ho! What ho? How you doing? Mission invite accepted. Oh, you've only just accepted the mission invite. <laughs> yeah, didn't okay. realize it was a shareable one. How is space? Space it's is big. big. <laughs> <laughs> it's so unbelievably mind-boggling. No, stop it. Now yes, what? Yes, did, Elite? Did scan, I know. Did scan the beacon? Did, actually, did you scan the beacon, or did you just? I start I scanning scan people and then jump out. I scanned the beacon! Yeah. I did scan the beacon. I did, I did. Who's in the dolphin? <laughs> I thought I thought put it out. <laughs> right. Local cruise. Right, so he's... There's a adder. Oh, so... Jack's supposed to be in bed, but... Something terrible happened. I had an idea. What's the idea getting out of bed? And now you don't know what to do until you have another idea. <laughs> oh, Andre is nearby, I think. Wait for He's the there. Idea. He's there. He's in the Cobra. Cobra 3. He's over there. Right. I like this. 
I really like this. Wait, who are you looking for? Andre because Dittman. He's here. The shared okay. mission is Henry J. No, no, that's I the know. target. He's it's the a target. Different mission. But the Andre Dittman. Andre, Andre has got the what's that? Low, he low waked. Yep. He, he wants dropped. you to join him. Yeah. You know, Round the, he, round the back of the bike sheds for a He bit knows the yeah. location of our target. We had a tip off. He wasn't in the system that we oh, went to. Okay. This is brilliant. But he ain't going to say it in, in yeah, he's, super he's, space. He doesn't want to do it over comms. This is he has brilliant. To do it in normal space, yeah. I love this. Even better if you could come over to your ship and do it in person. See, this not that would be good. <laughs> that would be brilliant, wouldn't it? But then we'd be kidnapping them and like taking them on a merry journey. You know what no, we're did like. You, you see Jack's, Jack's idea there. Oh, what's that? Uh, write an action group, mix it up, copies. A that? text file. That was just the the idea that he had because he should have been in bed, and he came up with that idea instead. So. I see. I I, I don't understand I, at the moment. Nor do I. Nor do I. See, this is this is why he, he woke up with it. He's probably trying to work out himself what his own idea is. <laughs> <laughs> trying to understand my own idea. What my does own it idea. mean? Don't know what, what, what does any of this mean? Right, he's, he's over there. Let's see what he has to say for himself. Yeah. Well, Guys, oh, he's got, he's right in front of me. Yeah. This is cool as fuck. Yeah, if you're looking for Henry J, I recently saw them nearby. If you're quick, you might still catch them. What? Thank you, Andre. That's awesome. Cheers, mate. And he's just going to sit there now. Yeah. But he's in, uh, where is he? Uh, I was oh, told you were looking around the drink. Look, he doesn't have a he's, picture. He's in, he's in coasting. That's cool. But he's, he's got a, a, a pixely hacker picture, you see. Yeah. You can identify that, him or... Does this number mean anything? Is that just a ship number? No. <laughs> just random. I love this. The game is doing emergent narrative. Yes. It is. Yes. I love this. I've never done this. This has never happened um, before. It's go over there, kill guy, guy dead. Go over there, kill guy, uh, guy kill me. I I did <laughs> one of these a long time ago, but I can't remember. It wasn't assassination because I don't do those. But I can't remember what it was now. It's something chasing that. Go and talk to the guy first. I can't remember right. what it was. But the fact that we're, we're, we're going through this narrative and these exist... It, mm. I can talk about this to people like it's this good, is narrative this happens it's in game right now you can follow these breadcrumb trails oh I mean, yeah alright it's not much but it's definitely something it adds a bit of spice a bit yeah, of variety to these things so Prorok saying do more distress calls mm. I, yeah I mean I... you get <laughs> stitched <laughs> <laughs> no snitches get stitches. Stitches, yeah, that's why he had a pixely numbery matrix face, so you can't mm. get it. And this is, his face is just like a load of stitches already. Well, the fact that we went to a uh, beacon, we got a message from HQ saying uh, they're not there, and this guy might know where they are. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Mission objective detected. Does that they mean that they're around? They should trumpet it a bit more, Jack. Yeah, they should. Oh, probably, yeah. Where is he? Not him. That's not gonna be him. Elite type seven. That's terrifying. People got whole stuff. Crate Phantom. Andy, that's not him. Or this guy. Damon, that's not him. How have we found the... Bacon? Uh... Did you scan the bacon? No, not yet. Well, scan the bacon, then! It, it doesn't say to do that. Oh, yes, yep. it does. It, it scan does the bacon. say to do that. Okay. Fine! Yes, Fine! And then you'll find him at a droppy point. Fine. Whatever you want to call it. So, the nav beacon just basically grasses up on everyone. Well, yeah. Again, I mean, I told you, that, that's, that's what my game plan would have been for faster than light communication in this game mm -hmm. the, 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 the ships are they the probably prototyped that and found that it was no, really I, I, unworkable I, I, I uh, blabbed it eons ago uh, to Michael Brooks but wait, I forget the no 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 but it's late, really late, late hard beat. to implement 
Uh, no, it's it's they they just settled on. Um, yeah, you're listening out. to me. Are you listening? Are you listening to the words coming out of my mouth? It's hard to implement. Having a different set of data that's fragmented across the galaxy is harder than a database which you can search. It could just look like that, though. <sighs> it's mostly uh, theatre of the mind. You're stuff. arguing with a software engineer about software no, engineering, Jen. I'm saying my, my solution is theatre of the mind stuff. You can believe it if you want, but faster than light communication across systems. This guy's name is Average Joe Schmo. <laughs> well, he probably is then. <laughs> right. So now I'll jump out. Now I've got this. Yeah, it's, it's just, oh, it's a, just few a few lines of code. <laughs> yeah. And, um, okay, yeah, fine. What lines of code precisely? <laughs> it's like people who say that have no freaking idea what they're talking about. It's surely you just got to put a button on the screen. Just, just. The word just winds me up more than just any other. Just a couple other. of minutes of animation, Scorp. Yes. <laughs> well, we, we know that's never true. <laughs> you do know that one. Uh, yes, Pro Rock. How many years did it take them to change slow down to gravity well? <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Well, that that's not even programming. That's just... <laughs> That's just a list of values to display. This this game is localized, so there's tokens, and it pulls the various phrases based on the language that you've got it on. Every single phrase has a, a, a key, and then that goes and gets it out of the language file. So all they have to do, and this is the case, is change uh, gravity well to slow down, or the other way around. But in every language. Yes. Because they have to change every single one of the, the language localization files. That's not coding. That's just data. No, no, Prorock. Why is it? I don't know. Is Polish don't... even a language? <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> it's it's um, at least as bad as well. In fact, it's worse than Welsh. Because, you know, there's no vowels in it, Polish, there's no vowels. And in addition to having no vowels like Welsh, it also has little squiggles on half the letters, just to change how they sound, just for good measure. So it's uh, seeming less. Phoenix the Fire, we have no wing. It was just the two of us. Um, so we are doing There'll a... There'll be no danger. No danger at He's all? He's not going to shoot us. No, because we're not going to shoot them. You're getting interdicted, Connor. Oh, you <laughs> Thinking Russian. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Firefox moment. Can't think in English and transpose. You have to think in Russian. Good old Freddy Jones. But that's tr that's true though, because if you think about it, um, the it's detecting certain thought patterns, not words. It's it's. Well, it's it's not actually like that in the book, if memory serves. Oh, Did you mean Freddy Jones? <laughs> it's another sodding Ferdalance, isn't Probably it? Probably Jack. <laughs> Henry J is in another Ferdalance. All right. Uh, okay, well, we, we we know what's... Hey, Freddy! Hey, Freddy, how you doing? Yeah, Firefox meant something different to us back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Henry! I'm saying hello! Oh! Awesome! What? Jack met Freddie Freddy Jones in the filming of the League of, Gen League of Gentlemen Christmas special. Oh, wow.
Henry, don't run. Don't run. We are your friends. Yeah, did that really happen? I always remember from the uh, crawl to my legs. <laughs> right, the shields are down a bit. Woo! Try not to hit me, Cutter. Yes, try yeah, not to hit me. It is, yeah. Sixty-three percent. We're doing well. It's the boss man says. <laughs> yeah, say Henry. Yeah, my wife now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Henry. Forty-four percent. Yeah, I should have gone with shield cell banks. I think that's quite yeah. important. Boil yourself up, yeah. I'm gonna boil myself up. What? That's because they do generate the little bit heat there. Alright. Oh, it's like it's Commander in a Maggie bag. <laughs> it's no succulent though. <laughs> Thirty-three percent. I'm on ten. It's fine. This is fine. Now you have to come up for his That's because he doesn't realise what you're doing. He has no idea. Hey, Henry, it's come here. Anyway. And why does Richard Ooh. Vernon think he sustained heavy damage in a pirate attack? He's delusional, like that last guy. He's somewhere else. Has he been? But these guys just flying around, like we're protecting him. Probably one of, one of his mates, yeah? His, his bodyguards. He's flipping out on one of Henry! Henry! Come here! Come here! Oh, my shields are applied. That will come back up. Yeah. yeah. Right, wallop him, Connor! Wallop him! He's at 18%. I'm under attack. They've knocked out my engines. I'm leaking fuel. Who is this guy? It's a surprise to learn that people don't go to. Surprising that people don't learn to keep away. You took around me. Lathering away. One of his bodyguards is like having a, a, a waking nightmare or something, and this guy's just. Oh, no, there is no giveaway. This is my territory. I'm telling the story. This is not easy in an anaconda. <laughs> no, this, this is why I would say get a small share, like like these. Even, even you should, more you mass sh means more killing. Many yeah. have challenged me, but now they're nothing but debris. Or, or de Gorgonzola. Or de Dairy Lee. Come on, give me 50% shields. Thank you. Rapid blue. I mean, I Ooh, hello. <laughs> Ouch. Missed him. Shit. Henry, don't run. <laughs> don't run. We are your friends. No, he's, he's, he is. He's just sitting there. You know, he's got his knees on the steering wheel, right? And he's got his phone. And he's right, his shields out. are down. None can challenge me. He's just tweeting <laughs> out from his mad account. Yeah, he's just tweeting. If he, uh, if he does try to run, we have to surge him. <laughs> he's at sixty-six percent. We got him. We got him. Wallop him. That was a nice clock. Wherever I am is my jurisdiction. You he's still, what? He's still tweeting. I'm away. a lord to myself. It's like, uh, you sure? Uh, you're you're alright, mate. Meanwhile, Richard Vernon's going off the handle again. At least he said please to his waking nightmare. 
<laughs> Come here. Come here, Henry. Alrighty, Fro Rock. Take care, Fro Rock. 30%. We got him. We got him, I think, unless he tries to jump. Because we might not get him in time. This little flock of ships all mad flying around him talking nonsense. He's at 10%! We got him! <laughs> Come on, Henry J. Henry J. 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 <laughs> right, we'll test the theory now. He's dead. Right, are there any mats? Yes, there are. Lots. There are mats, yes. Now, I mean, well, I think Connor and might look have Look at that. Couple. His friends aren't shooting us. Did, did, you, did you take any shots at him at all? Connor? Didn't shoot him at all. Excellent. And his mates are just flying around. They were like, ah, oh, our leader's dead. How did that happen? Um, how am I doing for these? I think, oh, they're, they're, they're they're these. I think they're too busy brushing imaginary space spiders off their suits at this point. Don't know what they've been smoking. <laughs> Leaking fuel! We're about to attack! Oh. Yeah. Um. Are these. Oh, hang on though. Are these from him or are these from someone else? I don't think there is anyone else, is there? I mean, they are a bit scattered for just him. They're probably you've probably got full stock of them anyway as well. I haven't worn shield as I need them. Oh, there, there are bit, some. Bits quick on it, is it? There are some good NPCs here. Hmm. I'm guessing those are the guys that have been attacked. Yeah, it could be. No, what? So I'm just going to delete these his friends quickly. So you mean Starstone sends a, a backup crew just in case he failed? Is that what you're saying? That would be very good, you. Well, I know your record, El Scorpius. I couldn't take the chance, could I? <laughs> he sent a B team just in case. What is a suicide squad? Yes. Focus crystals are now full. Pocket full of crystals. <laughs> Take care, care, Echo. It would be very good, yes. <laughs> ah, oh, yes. it is spectacular. <laughs> yes. Feel free to put a, a link in chat there if you want. Oh, what's that? You found it. The ECM sketch. Oh, Never yeah. Watched. I actually Watch want it. to get the VOD for that because I want to do some work with it. Oh, oh. Not full. All yeah. right. Okay. Well, because what I want to do is upscale it. Uh, if I can, remove the background. And then oh, I, and, I see and do where some, you're going with Do this. some panning between the characters. <laughs> Yes. That's what I want to do because I, I spoke to Jack really about this. Resync yeah. the sound. Oh, is it out of sync? Oh, I can do that easy. Uh, even even I could actually do that. Yeah, mm. but it's it's this background changey panny thing that. Uh, Jack, <laughs> do do me a favor if you can. If I'd you can download the vod. Uh oh, they fix it hot. If you can download the that bit of the vod, and I'll go and fix it up, and send send me the MP4 or something. Then I'll put it into all my tools, and we'll we'll give them something to, that that's more of a sketch. Because I want to want to what I want to want to want to do is use some of the tools to do like um, smart masking and like and remove the background and put like a a meeting room and remove everyone else and just have the main characters. I think that would look really cool. It would. It would look great. <laughs> If I can do it, I'll I'll have to probably use some AI tools to do it, but like we'll see. I want to upscale it. I'll use AI for that. Put it into 4K, and then um, we'll play around yeah. with it. Yeah. Entertaining little projects, yes. Yeah, but oh, we got stuff over there. So that could be really cool. And then we we'll send oh, it back to just, Hutton. Um, Connor might have booped a few people, so yes. Yeah, so, so we'll send it back to um, the, the chaps at Hutton, then they mm -hmm. can have another version of the VOD. Or, you know, 
Excellent. The, the score be cut. <laughs> it's like the Snyder Cut, but it's the score be cut. The score be cut, yes. Because I think there's no way of getting rid of the background without doing some sort of rotoscoping. But we have tools for that now that can do it intelligently. They take a ton of processing power. But I'll see. I, I think um, DaVinci Resolve, because I've got the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. I think that's got some really powerful rotoscoping tools. It's like Adobe fell off the off the, the cart and they've been running up behind. Like, oh, 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 I can't give up. Adobe's like... The cart's getting just a smaller and smaller thing in the distance, <laughs> says Adobe, as their subscriptions run out because people abandon them. But, but, I thought they would be friends forever. Mm. If your PC was working. Oh, yeah, it's, it's broken, isn't it? Ooh, I need some of this stuff. Is it, are you still having trouble? I thought you'd already made your video card. Okay, oh right, okay. I mean, I've got two other video projects that I'm working on. Uh, one with Infwail, um, so we should have that one out pretty soon, I think. And uh, then I've got my main one, which I've been working on for months. Um, so hopefully I'll have the music for that sorted out pretty soon. And then there'll be a new, full, spectacular Ascorbis video for you to all enjoy. And, oh, yes. uh, and we'll figure some way of doing a premiere. It that... is It is spectacular. Just say. It is. Mm. Well, I'm, well, I'm glad you think so. It is. I made some more mats. You made mats? Did you yes. un unmake spaceships to make the mats? Mm -hmm. He just folded them a bit, and that's all. <laughs> I was hoping um, he did as well. He's a good one, isn't he? He's a good one. He's a good lad. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So to um, to David for organising uh, ECM. Thank you, my friend. That was such a good, cool thing. I, I think he's done a few. I think he knows what he's doing. You know, yeah, I it, it comes across. I think he's done this before. I, th I get just. <laughs> Maybe for a living, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. You know, it's one of these things I don't quite know. Maybe he does it for a living. <laughs> I think he must have just gone to a really good school. <laughs> Spectre Studio, thank you for the follow. <laughs> so, the ramming approach does work. We need to work a little bit on the shield, though. So maybe some shield cell banks are a good idea. But the the ramming assault ship, it has weapons. I didn't want it to have weapons, but it has them just in case. Um, but like. Pure ramming. Who'd have thunk it? And the enemies don't turn around and say, Oi, knock it off. <laughs> they just die horribly. Yeah. I think the scout is still better. You think the scout is better? Are we renaming mm. this ship then better than an ASP scout or not? Are we going to rename the ASP scout to be better than a, a, a federal assault ship? Do we have enough characters to do that? What's going on here? Have I got enough of these? Damaged escape pods. Focus crystals thing are full of those. Full of those. I don't want the escape we, pods. You just killed these guys and you're going to take their bodies. The like, dead. Look, I uh, killed. A... Look who I killed. 
Ja. <laughs> go on, go. All right, let's uh, let's put these away. Let's go back. So, so we got a couple extra missions. I think I can share these. Can I share this? No, can't share that one. Expansion data. I still haven't done these. Encrypted data for the expansion effort. So let's go to HIP six something something dubri dubri dubri. I was half expecting a boop from Connor to just knock me back out of the galaxy map. Well, yeah, you know, he's not going to break with tradition, but he? <laughs> But I think, like, for the booping thing to work, the ramming thing, I think it's best if you are actually in a party and you all take it in turn, just ram, 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 ram. Yeah. See, that could also be seen as being rude. You take it in turns ramming the... anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this, this stream is pure pill. It's, it's... Are they dead if you picked up their pod? I'm not touching their pods, mate. <laughs> right, so we, we completed that mission. We're going to go to this this mission. and uh, Oh, and Apaphos, it was awesome seeing you, mate, as well. As well as everyone else. Like, But it's always good to see you. Ooh. I've never seen these people before. Do we know where this but is? But I will see them again next time. <laughs> yes. It's over here. Um, do... So I need to do the nav beacon again. Don't I? Scan the nav beacon. It you all... Need, you can just head there. Warning. Really? Yep. Oh, I'm, I'm cooking a bit. No, yeah, I'm sadly. I know, I'm with that too. Sadly, but there will be, from what I can gather, another pit con. Um, but I think that's next year. I just want... See, I, I want my... Um, I'm very selfish with MGB. all this stuff. I, I, want, I want my ECM. I want my LaveCon. Come on, guys. Where's my LaveCon? Get it sorted. Yeah. I want my LaveCon. And, and, and I want my PitCon. And I want my MTV. And my microwave ovens. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, did the woman at uh, ECM reception show you my picture? Or she kept it for her collection? I want all my elite socials without going to stream up. <laughs> yes, all play the game, damn it. <laughs> oh, I like playing the game. But I, I, I like it. I like my. Oh my god, this is so far away. Fine. Oh my god, I've got hardly any fuel. I can't use my. Oh, right. Thing. See ya. See ya, Sea Dweller. You take care, mate. Yeah, send me a message and let me know how you're getting on. Do we have to kill this guy? No, no, no. This is just a um, a thing. It's just a thing. Okay, good. There's I no don't have a thing. lot of ammo left. It's a thing. <laughs> there's no, there's no one to kill on this. Uh, but I will. This is gonna take freaking yes. ages. It's fine. It's fine. We're not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to be. Oop. Not going to be wibbly wibbly woo with the SCO. So I've just finished this BR. BR. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so how's everybody? Um, uh, you've been back in Elite well, since January. I've been, not been back in Elite since January. Oh, health but... issues. Oh, I'm sorry about the health issues, mate. Oh, but right. I'm, I'm glad you're back in Elite. Uh, yeah. I have to say. Health issues suck. They really they do. do. Oh, have it, you gone blurred again? Often, You've they... got your normal face back on, your blurred face. Have I? <laughs> yes. Is it? Why? Oh, I'll just fix that. Oh, yeah, it's a bit blurry. A bit blurry. Is it a bit blurry? Well, is, is it because you've drunk a few cans and now you're all blurred? I haven't got my computer drunk. Oh. Oh, yeah, well, I know, Jay. It is better, isn't it? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> there we go. I don't know why it does that. It's the stupidest system in the world. Oh, Island Consortium. Ah. Uh. 
Good to be oh. back after two years out, though. That is mm. the thing. Because yes. the, the thing is with health issues, right? They often they come out of nowhere, and they they they, they like totally like you know get you unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. So that's it. So I hope I hope you're feeling better. I hope um, that that things are on the mend for you. Uh, this is going to be interesting because there isn't a large pad where we're going. Don't need a pad. And I have many, many fuels. <laughs> Do you have a fuel scoop? Uh. Oh, itchy, itchy. My back. Oh, I've got to reach. I'm getting bitten by everything this summer. I, I think I might be extra tasty to insects. <laughs> so I was out walking. Um, Hey Valkyria, say you doing? I was out walking uh, around um, a lake today and um, I think I might have got bit by something. These critters that live by lakes. Is this five? No. Morning. Super Cruise, SEO. Even I though... I don't need it. I don't need I a I wasn't bitten cruise. by anything. I don't know what the matter is. I was down in your place for what, a week? I wasn't bitten by anything. Morning. Just you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, mate, maybe your soft southern bugs couldn't get through me northern skin. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Jim, Volcan, yes. Uh, <laughs> Beat Saber is it's all I do for work out these days, I have to say. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, the elite, the elite community spectrum is... is um, Unprecedented. I've never, mm. never been in one as lovely as the elite community. They are. I think I've numbed all my fuel. Um. Yeah. Luckily, you're in a system that actually has uh, places to refuel. So, Volcarius, did you complete that uh, Dragon Force uh, song? Then, that was absolute nuts. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. It is. I'd never played that one before. Only on normal. <laughs> I, I, yeah, because we were playing it on normal, weren't we? Before. And it's like, and it's Dragonfall, so you know how fast it is. So it's, it's like, it's bonkers speed. Um, you'll have to let me know when you're ready to announce your project. Because uh, I think that would be something that people might get a kick out of. Do a hard block with directions off. Oh, you can turn you can turn the direction arrows off and just hit them. Oh, I I just I just use the the easy setting. I don't do my hard. The beat saber. I just you know. And it was, in fact, number two in the entire world on one of those for about ten minutes, probably. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, is that part of your idea that you were talking about earlier then, Jack? Is testing the fixes, putting the stop names being repeated in the randomly selected names in the credit sequence for Tales of the Unrequested? It sounds similar to the idea we were talking about earlier, probably. <laughs> I see. Yeah, what I tend to do is I get the the, the original tracks from, from Beat Saber, you know, they're just a little collection of the originals. And that that's my little workout. I just do go through mm. those, all of those, and they go, right, that's good enough for me. Well, Volcaris, uh, send me a DM in Discord uh, when you, if, if you want to uh, talk about that, your, your, your project. I don't, want to, I don't want to say too much about it because I think it's something that you would like to announce. But uh, just uh, hit me up and then we'll we'll have a chat about it because I think it could be cool uh, brr, 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 brr. this is so far away why did we come here yeah you're not like you look like Scorb in that case Jack. yeah overthinking things Scorb's <laughs> videos I did I nearly came down to ECM with one of my favorite t-shirts you know Scorb just for you it says on it it's a black t-shirt it says in big white big white letters don't overthink it and i was nearly going to come down with that one just for you 
You left your hat here. Uh, I thought I might have done. <laughs> did I leave it? Are you or going to do I this one? <laughs> I haven't tried it yet because I, I, I took a break from uh, all the computery stuff uh, over the last week because uh, I was sorting some things out and I was on holiday, so I uh, took a big break from it. I'll take, I'll, I'll check it out though. But you might want to look into Discord if you, if you haven't, because it's Just for es especially for the stuff that you do. Um, it could get very useful. It could be very useful. Ah, oh, back to work, Turnboo. Mm hmm. Oh, you don't have a phone. You can use it on the. Yeah, if, you it use a, if you have a PC, you can use yeah, the. Oh, web there you function. go. You've missed another one, have you, Scott? I have, yeah. Because I was talking. I was. I was so, I say, how many times have you been at bat this evening? Oh, really? We're doing that. That's what we're doing, yeah. aren't we? I think I think you're actually batting about point one at the moment. You'll never make the majors. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a link to it, then uh, chuck it in the in the the chat. Mission degraded emissions threat zero. Uh, how many? Well, you know, some of those I emissions have? can be quite sharp. And, how you much know, space have I got? All oh, right, I'm fine. You nasty cut some of those emissions, so it's nice that it's a threat zero. Look, if it's if it's nasty sharp emissions, that's even worse than foie gras emissions. No, these have been worn smooth by by space, probably. Uh huh. Oh dear. This is, where this, this is where this evening's been going this entire time. It's gone downhill, and I thought we'd hit the bottom. Nope, there's more. There's always another level. <laughs> We're in an infinitely tall building. It's, <laughs> yes, it's a an Escheron staircase. It just always goes down. Yeah, but the stairs are made of rakes. <laughs> And it will pop up and back you in the face every time. Yes. Point every step. Dom. Yeah. yeah. Dom. Just like, is it Sideshow Mel, was it? Or was it Sideshow Bob? <laughs> in The Simpsons. I was crying with, um, with that episode. Yeah. Absolutely crying. All right. Canisters of encrypted data. Fly, my pretties. <laughs> Yeah, everyone, click on that link um, and go go take a look at it. It's it's a, a, a game. I think it's, I think that's a promo for the game. So our friend Volcaris here is a um, is a programmer, and he's making a game, and it's, it might be very interesting. I'm uh, thinking I might feature it on um, on one of my Wednesday streams. Oh, uh, just so you know. There's not going to be a random Wednesday game stream on Wednesday this coming because uh, I've got something that I'm I'm doing, and the following Sunday um, I'm away, so I'm, there won't be a, a broadcast next Sunday. Just so that you know. Following that, normal service will resume, so it'll be Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday. But uh, right now I'm having a holiday, so I got. Got all of those. Oh, why have I got the damaged escape pods? Why do I need those? But just so you know, if it, um, but I'll, I'll put a notice in the bro bar. Uh, I didn't do it last time, but um, but yeah, because I was busy. What will you do? Uh, well, uh, hopefully, Jack will be streaming. Yeah, or, or you could make some little sock puppets, you know. <laughs> And you could have, you could have one being little school sock puppet. Well, like, hello. 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 Yeah, you could do that. I can fly a spaceship. Bosh, 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 bosh. Yeah. Ow, this hurts. <laughs> what was that school? I said I can fly. Oh. Uh. What is this? I'm going to hold it at the end of the month. Oh. 
<laughs> Rock in Planet the corner Jim until Jim the following Jim. Wednesday. All watch Jack. Yes. Pender's Fen Location Hunt. What is this? Right, uh, so we did this. We did the south. So that was a salvage, wasn't it? So that one's done. What's this one? I think we ought to call it a night, though. But So let's get it back is, to... The time has flown! It has. Much like your ship, in fact. Dates is here. So let's turn in the mission. And not stopping the ah. ship. Well. I don't have enough fuel to jump to Days at Yet. Huh. Do you, do you score? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we have enough to I jump to, to, to jump to the nearest uh so that This doesn't help me, I don't have a fuel scoop. Oh dear. This is a combat ship. Um, for combat okay, shit. so are we together? Let's is, get. Is there a system do next we, door do we down have, there? Do we have one of our um, one of our friendly neighbourhood well, fuel rats? Well, is quite correct. Do you have jumponium? It depends how much how much fuel do you uh, have? Because like, I'm on like I don't know. Let's say is that like a tenth? Of a tank. Well, uh, uh, just, you know, let me it, jump. Just, I'll just you're jump flying with everything closer. turned on, so it's still nomming 2.35 an hour. There we go. I can jump somewhere closer. Yeah, have a look at the the map. There should be somewhere just next door. Hang on, I, I've got an idea. On the galaxy map. Right, I'm going to go to this genetic center. How far away is that? Because I can fuel there. The, can Can you stop there? Yeah, make sure does you it, can. Does it have fuel? This. Yeah. Maybe not. No, it doesn't look like no, it does. It's a security place. Look at the, uh, the, have a scroll down and see if there's somewhere oh, like single a ending. light tier away. But it's really far away. But have a look to see if there's somewhere a light tier away or two or something. You never know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five light years. Co there like, is go. there anything here? Anything? No. no government. Nothing. There's nothing there. And you didn't have a fuel scoop, did you? Exceeds team. Like what's here? Okay, I, I'm I'm gonna go there. Can I go there? Can I go there? Seven light years. Oh yes, I can do that. I can do that one, and I'll get fuel. I can get fuel. This will be fine, and then I can go back home. <laughs> <laughs> it's this. Uh, it's the SCO drive in this ship is just a bad idea. It just numbs it, and, and it's all over the sodding place. Not optimised at all. Um, we, I was just looking up in chat there, yes, but we, we, we generally like the updates to engineering. Mm -hmm. It's just the whole engineering system that I Oh, yeah, like. I didn't see that. But they have, that. they have made it better. It is better with the updates, yeah. yes. Or, from my perspective, it's less bad. <laughs> Yeah. I never liked it in the first place. Well, that's fine. I mean, this is... But yes, it is better. It's definitely better now. Yeah, yeah. I don't have fuel scoop. Right, pop, pop off depot. I'm going to go to pop off depot. Get some get some petrol. Because uh, I don't have a fuel scoop on this ship. Oh, I thought you'd put a teeny tiny one on. No, it. not if single... Bait. No, it's not even... It doesn't have one Oh, look, it's, it's 23,000 light seconds. I hope you're not going to use the SCO to no, get that. No, I am not pressing the SCO <laughs> button. No, 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 no. But, but you've got to use it so you can get there fast. So you don't... That's so right. You, uh, Holy crap, you know, Before no. you run out of fuel. <laughs> you, look how much fuel you've got left. Not a lot. Not a I lot. I think you should start turning things off, like shields and other things just to save a bit of fuel consumption all right a, a thing is so normally i'd be like it'd be fine I, I, no i agree <laughs> turn this all off oh i want the sensors it'll I need those. be fine rag cannons off off uh olympic controller off docking computer I'm, I'm even turning that off heat sink launcher there we go How's that doing now? Well, you're 1. down from 2.3 to 1.6. So oh, my good. God. That's good. 
Uh, it should be okay to SEO if my miss happens to go by. It will shut down and leave you with the fuel it, before the tank goes completely it dry. It FSD does. off? No. <laughs> <laughs> I did that once, actually. I did that once. I can't remember why, but for some reason, I, th I think I was going to repair it or something. I can't remember. While I was in <laughs> Super Cruise, and I, I learned rapidly that you, you don't actually do that. It doesn't end well. Oh, uh, so I can keep my leave my weapons on, but the shields they uh yeah, they they had to go off. Yeah. Uh where else can I ditch? Well some of these things don't take much power at all. Like thrusters, do I need them right now? <laughs> uh, no actually no, that's what I was doing. That's what I did, yeah. It wasn't it was the thrusters in Super Cruise and yes, that will do exactly what you think it's gonna do. It's the only way to get to Raxler. Yes, Bloody of course. <laughs> uh, you could turn off the power distributor as well. What? No. Oh, All yeah, right. you don't actually. You don't have that. to. Well, it's using to. very little energy. It's a, yeah, it's just a couple. You're fine. You've dropped down from like two and a half to one and a half, so you're okay. I, I have yeah. very little fuel, though. It's fine. <laughs> I got way less than you. <laughs> I came one. very close to complimenting you on the music you have on tonight, but I've realised it's my instance of pretzel I can hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you know you got pretzel running and it's not just in your head? I, it went along with that whole idea thing earlier. <laughs> Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Someone just, bloody uh, interdicts me now. I'm going to be so cross. You've, you've still got a <laughs> an almost full load in the in the baby tank, so you're good. Baby You'll make it. tank. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, what? A now, a now then, now then, now then, now then. Now then. Uh, okay, yeah, that's that's putting your batting average up to about one point one two now. Ah, Dark Star. Dark Star was a wonderful piece of work. <laughs> one of my favourites. I've only seen it once. Oh. Science, you know, Science Guy, right? Mm-hmm. He, he was based on um, the whole concept of Science Guy was based on the. Uh, uh, Commander Doolittle, the dead guy in the freezer in Dark Star. System scan complete. That's why he had that that weird thinking voice and muttering to himself all the time, you know, tuning into his thoughts. And he's like Commander Doolittle in the freezer. <laughs> well, I made it to a station. Yay! I didn't die. Nice. <laughs> I came very close to dying. <laughs> I'm I'm looking but... at like. I think it's one thirty second of fuel in the tank now. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> so I had about a minute left. Wow. Oh, I didn't know that they added that in later. <laughs> the alien. How can it live, guys? It's just a ball of gas. Really? Uh, yeah, it, it it is the it, it definitely is the seat of alien. <laughs> yeah. Because it's Dan Abandon, of course. It's an interesting looking planet. Look at those colours. That is quite interesting, isn't it? I bet I can't land on that, can I? Um, but I don't see why not. It doesn't look particularly atmospheric. <laughs> the video diary sequence is. is Brilliant. I am not pinned back. The underwear is too loose. <laughs> yes, feel <laughs> this. This is controlled by the Necromonger Empire. Oh, I, I Scorpio you should feel right at home then. Right, where is my. I, I know, that would be brilliant, wouldn't it, if that was. <laughs> Sorry, sir, we don't do refueling here. Oh, that would be just mean. 
Oh yeah, we don't get deliveries this far out. What was that you were saying about people paying more for fire systems? Well, I better implement it, sir, because we don't have any fuel for you. Guys, guys, there's a ship coming in. It's a ship. Jeez, if they just buy fuel, it'll pay the ground rent. <laughs> really? Like, fuel is cheap. Nobody ever comes out here. There's just one guy in there, but you hear him on comms, and it sounds like there's a lot of people he's talking to other people. Just the one guy. Uh, yeah. I do Seven. feel sorry for the company that has to distribute fuel to every single station in the whole galaxy. Yeah, how does that yeah, work? Yeah, we should see fuel tankers. Big we should, fuel that tankers would be cool. Brum, 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 yeah. That would be absolutely really it must, cool. It must be a very efficient business. Uh, Twilight Falls on NGC 891 is really... I just love that whole, the whole concept of that with everything going on in the ship and you've got that music playing. <laughs> All right. We're good. We have petrol. Back to the associates. Oh. Right, I'll do it from here because it's nice and easy. Bish, bash, bosh. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy done. Two jumps. Piece of cake, piece of cake, and you was all worried, weren't you? Hey? Um, you you can probably turn some systems back on if you want. Where you go? Landing gear retracted. That's oh, locked. It's also a planet in the way. Fine. I just activate super cruise. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a dirty planet. Now look at it. Three. Mud it's planet. Covered in, covered in soot. So get a Brillo pad on that planet, clean it off. Just go straight through the planet. <laughs> Just hold and maneuver it. I suppose I could use SCO to get out of the gravity well. And so it begins. <laughs> <laughs> The SEO is actually really great for, for getting away from planets that have like ground ports that you're mm. flying away from. Because it's, it's... It's punch it, Chewie. There you go. It's one press and then you're away. Yeah. Same as in, um, in No Man's Sky. Uh, you can't use the, the pulse drive in the atmosphere going down to a planet when you get too close. You also can't use it horizontally in the atmosphere on a planet. But if you take off and just point immediately straight up from a planet's surface, it pulse drives straight from the ground, straight up. Oh, did not know that. I take it the uh, the thing is finished it's now. It's on till the second of September. Okay. So, so you've got a bit got of time. A chance to do it, yeah. Um, and all of the extra fiddly diddlies, the optionals are completed now. So if you complete the expedition, you'll get the lot. So you'll get your lovely liquidator arms for your your stompy mech. Because that's what that's all about. Okay. So yeah, we'll have to have an evening doing uh, that. You then. you nearly finished it anyway before, didn't you? Uh, not fully, but like we were making good progress. But then Frontier went and released a bloody update, didn't they? And then it was ECM, wasn't it? It was like oh <laughs> yeah. Right, so we are here. Um, let me get to LS Gateway. <laughs> Engage the ridiculous, ludicrous fuel usage device. I mean, we can now, because, like, but we're really close. All right, let's do it. Warning. Free drive operating beyond safety limits. <laughs> Oops. Whoopsie. We went a bit quick. That's you could actually point. hear Scorb justify it right there. 
Yeah. We can now. I mean, we, we got fuel in you. We're really close. Uh, <laughs> Look how much... went too far. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about, mate. All right, so we're almost there. Almost there. Stay on target. Don't press the SEO button. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, the temptation. You need a second. Just no. Button. Just no. Yeah. The button to stop you pressing the other button. Yeah, this is the are you sure button. Don't press this button again button. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. Almost there. Yeah, that was touch and go for a bit. <laughs> I almost ran out of fuel completely. I forgot that I hadn't put a fuel scoop on this. And when you're, like, bimbling about in the bubble, uh, you don't always realize, uh-oh, out of petrol. <laughs> And I think that's where the majority of the fuel rats' work comes from. Yeah. Most of their work is in the bubble. They've only got a couple ones where, you know, the seasoned commanders out in the black get in trouble. Because most people know what they're doing. Watching you destroy the mail slot from the concourse. I'm not destroying the mail slot. Yeah, perfect landing. I think fuel should be like ten times as expensive, and fuel scoop should wear out. No, that would really upset it's, explorers. It's complicated enough, thank you. <laughs> Just be thankful you didn't get the fuel that they were originally planning to give us in the beta. Because right, that, Jan, there is a time that was you have... grades. Grades of fuel. Some fuel would be top grade, some would be shitty grades. What, what's wrong with that? That's actually a really good idea. Yeah, but can you imagine how difficult that would be to implement? It? Like, Look, you want to implement a different kind of like messaging system I know. I know. based on real time. Like, the fuel thing is easy. Hey, Dave, bro. No, it was just beer tonight. <laughs> it's lager, wasn't it? Or is it IPA you're on? It's, it's uh, punk. Punk IPA. Ah, uh, uh, punk, right. Right, let's turn in these missions. Connor, are you docked? Connor, bitter. Yeah, I'm standing in your hangar. You're standing in my hangar. Mm. I see. Is that right. a song? Standing in your hangar. Yeah. You know, like, um, wait, wait so, to get the bus stop kind of song, you know, standing in your hangar. Can I share these missions now I'm docked with you? Because I think you can only have one shared at a time. If there's, if they're blue, then you can share them. They have the little blue logo. No blue logo. Oh, um... And it's only the one that you can share. Hmm? Oh, that's a thing. That's a thing. Uh... Turn this one in. Yeah, it's not shareable. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. It's fine. This is fine. One more mission. Uh, store, store. Okay. So I get anomalous FSD telemetry. 12 of them. This is good that we're getting so many of these now. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I do like it. I do like that you can just sort of play the game, you know. Mm. Because that's the thing, just isn't it? We don't do all missions have... and passively get the stuff. Because you could before, but it was a lot slower. Hmm. Like, yeah, do you know, kind of, it, it, we, Scorb and I were discussing that uh, last week, week before, about refueling from a star, and you think you've got to go, yeah, I've got to be flying, and scoop the hydrogen into the fuel scoop, because that's what it's like. It's like a, no, mm -hmm. you can just park. You just sit there. Sit there. And you go, well, not much fun, though, is it? I've heard it when I was flying. 
Yeah, it it should be that the faster you go, the more it scoops. So like, yeah. there's an incentive to go nailing after it. But your yeah, heat should crazy. your heat should go up um, at at the same time. You know, like yeah, it should. Sitting still, you should probably only take like a minimum amount of heat. The faster you go but past I mean, the star, that would know, go when up. You, when you you think about it logically, the the like with coronal mass ejections and all stuff pouring out of a star. It's probably hitting you faster than you'd be flying towards it, scooping hey, anyway. Oh, so you just sit still. It's all right, but yeah, right. I, yeah. We, I, I always, origi well, originally thought you had to uh, always be moving for Scoopy. I always like a shark, that. you know, a shark dying if it's not moving. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I thought that's how it worked. Right. But no, it took us a long time to find that. Are you in the pub? Also radiation, yes. I'm currently picking up this upgraded weapon that I found. Oh, you're here. You don't mind getting on the wrong side of the law? Whatever you're in the market for, come to Oh, I see he's still wearing the inconspicuous suit. Yeah, yeah, Like a ninja. Let's see. What's she They'll got? They'll never oh, see me coming. Grinding so for king for the, the empire. Oh. There's a well, purple dead person coming to us. If if you want to watch I'll something know, that'll that'll, that'll help you with your that'll help you with your Empire King grinds, uh, let me just find a link for it. <laughs> There's nothing cool here. Oh, that's because I picked Maybe it up. Next time. The one thing. Why are you? I gotta get you. Why I order? Yeah. Why I order? You're supposed to run and then I catch you. Right. I'll just, ah. Uh... That's not, that's walking. <laughs> that, that's, right. It should never catch me. Yep, that's that's the one. If you've tur putting, you, you've uh, turned it into orcs. an escort mission where it's really uh, annoying that you go faster than the escort. Music. <laughs> Video. Uh, I see you. I there see. There we go. Come here. Yeah, watch that one. Get back here. Help me grind. Scorb's video and the amazing music of the wonderful Tokosa. Yeah, it's fantastic. I, I, I'm i so lucky. I think the community is so lucky to have oh, someone yes. like Tom Cook uh, do music. And like it's prolific. He's like the, the fact that he did that um, uh, Radio 07 for the, the last, um, is it the Warbuck stream? Did like absolutely yes. oh. phenomenal work, brilliant album as well, it and is, it's so it long. It is. Uh, we it's were... on. Sorry, it's on Bandcamp. Yeah, it's on Bandcamp, and we uh, link for it. we were listening to it like on the way down to ECM. Oh, it's it was... like a real radio station with songs played and Spatula as the radio host. Absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah. No hyperbole at all. Spatula yep. one. Is missing his calling as a radio DJ, like totally, like he's got this as as a skill he has. Uh, Tom Cook being amazing as well, with, with such a variety of songs. You get some artists who can only do rock, who can only do pop or or whatever. Tom can do everything. Like how? How is this yeah. possible? And not only does he do everything, yeah. he does everything amazingly. It's not just like. Well, they can do rock really well, but the other stuff's a bit meh. No, it's all brilliant. It's all brilliant. <laughs> I don't even know how. He's so talented. I have no idea how. But, like, yep, it is what it is. Is uh, If you haven't got it... See, with Bandcamp, it's fantastic, because you can go to it, listen for free. Yeah. But uh, you can also buy it if you want. Okay. Oh, yeah, please do if you can. Yeah. So, so I'm not. I'm not sure where the monies go for that one. It might actually go to the charity. But if he's got other things on there, consider uh, throwing him some bones because he's totally worth it. And he does oh, it out of the goodness of his heart. He does. Yeah. There we are. So, uh, I think it, was, we, it made the miles fly past, didn't it? Mm-hmm. It was wonderful. It was a lot of fun. And the car. Yeah, great. Galactic Radio 07, Commanders. Fantastic body of work, absolutely yeah. phenomenal. And there's there's also 
little um, little adverts by members of the community. Uh, you may notice a few people, recognize a few people. Just putting that in there. Yeah, it's so, possible. It's, it's possible. possible that you might <laughs> you might uh, notice a few people uh, like with, with with their little contributions to it. But like, it's so yes. good. Yes. <laughs> right, I think tonight we're going to wrap it up. Where's Connor gone? Where is he? He's hi he's sitting down over there. Hiding. You're hiding. You can't hide in, in that suit. Inconspicuous in the corner. <laughs> I found you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, but Burr is in it definitely quite quite a few yeah, times. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah, there are quite a few. Like he's he's really good at that as well. He's he got, is, he's got yeah. the voice for for the the, the cheeky um, local radio ads. It's yeah, fantastic. It's very, very local radio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you need a Mercedes Benz and don't want to drive a Lada, go down to the. <laughs> to the we've got twelve thousand yeah. of them. <laughs> Fantastic. Yep. Hey, tragic. Yeah. So, like, uh, blue, and th you're welcome, Blue Gunner. I mean, so yep. yes. So I won't be back on uh, and, and Centaurs, Centaur Six. Thank you for the follow. Oh, you guys have been so amazing tonight. Not that you're not normally. You're always amazing, but you know, it's it's always really lovely. Um. So there's no stream on Wednesday, no stream on Sunday because I'm going to be away. But the following week will be Wednesday for Silly Games. Sunday um, for Elite uh, or whatever we're playing. Probably going to be Elite. Uh, so I'll see you then. So uh, whatever you get up to, take care of yourselves. Fly aimless. Have fun. That's the most important thing of anything. Let's see who is uh, playing some Elite. See if there's someone we can raid. Send all the love over to. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Who we got? So Father Bill is playing. We've got Stargo. We haven't raided Father Bill in ages. We have Father Bill actually. was here earlier. He was, was here earlier. He was yeah. here earlier. Let that would me... be very uh, reciprocally so, of power. <laughs> it would be really nice. Uh, Father Bill is fantastic. Uh, if you have any virtual reality questions, send them over to Father Bill. He's got all the answers. Uh, he's got more VR than, than uh, I don't know, Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's in caps. I don't know if caps is a good thing. Right, so have fun, fly aimless, take care of yourselves. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. And let's have a lovely raid for Father Bill. You give it, send, get your hashtag blame Ascorbius and send send over the love. I'll see you next time. You've been fantastic. Bye bye for now. Where's the buttons? Pressing buttons! <laughs> bye bye, everybody. <laughs>